the audio is going out now, right sure, now. Are we sure? Look, you can tell. Are we sure? I could fuck this up from I'm here. I'm pretty sure. Look, see, it's bouncing. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, good. Now we have to wait because I've screwed up the audio so much when we have guests on that we have to wait until the audio starts going. So there's this weird limbo where Vito's not paying attention because he's just waiting. I'm terrified because you screwed up the audio every episode, so I have to look at the chat obsessively. Twice I've messed it up, and it happened to be when... Well, actually, I fucked up more than the audio once. That's what happens. It wasn't even streaming. You only got to fuck up once, and you're that asshole forever. But now Riley calls me. Yeah. Yeah. To fix Thank them. God. That He's the asshole only forever. One. To make sure that the. Is my camera focused this time? Last time my camera wasn't focused. Wait yeah. a minute. I almost forgot. You got to weigh in today. Yeah. Well, you want to do it now or at the <laughs> end? Oh, wow. This is a big day, <laughs> oh, Sean. I'm. I shouldn't be drinking this cranberry deliciousness. No, that's that's pounds right there. I don't know if that's you're going to miss the weigh-in by like point one, and you're going to cry water about the. going to be a problem. Uh, if anyone is listening and they could bring that scale down for the end of the show, please do so. Should we start the show? Do you want some? Do you want some <laughs> chips or something? No, some salty? stop do you want it. The, no snacks. You want some peanut brickle? Uh, I have a diet Ooh, coke peanut here. brickle. Do I get to purge before the weigh-in? Can you? Yeah, I'll, I'll blow up your You'll probably pick up a snack on the way back from yeah, purging. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta replenish to get down the stairs. <laughs> oh, I'm waiting for a scale. I don't know how I'm doing. Do you think you're gonna make it? <laughs> there was a part of the month. None of us knows how we're doing. Well, I've been doing I've been doing some cardio, you know. I've been uh See now, Sean. In your mind, what what do you imagine when Vito says cardio? <laughs> what? I mean he could be like you know, I don't know, going for long walks. Long walks, uh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> you know, when I don't, you say walk, what do you mean? I mean, you know, like, to, to the fridge. Yeah, <laughs> I okay. I, I got a little exercise bike, I've been using that. An exercise bike? Yeah. Yeah. So you've you know, been taking it pretty seriously. I don't don't so. run. I, not, not super seriously. Mm. Uh, Are you able to do that with your feet pointing the wrong way or yeah. whatever you were saying? Like, yeah. What happens? They don't point the wrong feet way. Pointed. He <laughs> says he can't exercise because his not feet true. are like it's inside not out or something. <laughs> <laughs> I said sometimes I can't. Well, I have trouble. I think I just kicked a box or something if you're looking for the source. Look, of at, look oh, at his yeah. fucking feet. You, Sean, look at his fucking <laughs> feet. Put, the, put your feet they're where they're supposed to be. They're always encroaching. Yeah. Always on my side. So I, I have also, to sit with my feet up here <laughs> so I don't get foot seed with. I have a very large feet feet and uh, I have supination problems is what somebody told me it's called. Oh, it's when things are like, like not yeah. yeah flat the shoes exactly. Got it. Lean. The shoes are leaning. The shoes are leaning. The shoes are leaning. Yeah. Apparently you can go to like I don't know who I, am Genetic. I supposed to go to an orthopedic person or can you just somebody was telling me you can just go to a regular shoe store type thing and they can like figure it out. They could get you some I feel like insoles that like align shit yeah, better. Yeah, but that, I don't know how you figure out which insoles there you There it is. You gotta There's talk the to scale. Talk to oh, an expert. You. An expert, a uh But do I have to talk to a doctor or an is there insole just like, expert. like a foot guy I can talk to? Look, you can probably they probably have this shit online that will like Yeah, but I don't know which one to get. I feel like the audience should tell me, because then they're going to fuck it up, and it's going to be even worse. Send him some clown shoes or something. I'm done helping. <laughs> Orthopedic clown shoes. All right, should we start the show Let's now that we've it. got everything? I forgot how to do this. Uh, Jack is back from his big vacation. We've got an old favorite guest on the show today. Biggest problem in the universe! Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe, the only show that ranks... Every problem in the universe, from securities regulators to McDonald's fish sandwich haters. Is that good? 100th episode! <laughs> I'm your host, Dick Masterson. Joining Get me as always super is... Super Jets in, you cucks! Vito Giswaldi, and joining us is a very special guest. Uh, you're an audio engineer, I guess, yeah. and a, a com touring comedian, Some too. Sort of guy. Uh, Sean, the audio engineer. You know I'm going to delete this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sean, who did not have a problem when he came in, even More though no, he's problem been show. aware Didn't of even show. think of it. Didn't even think about <laughs> it. He's the third person on the planet who is aware of this show's premise. He and has he's been still... on more episodes than he's the fourth most appeared person, wouldn't it be? Mm. The you? you, that other motherfucker. No, he's Sean's been, been on, on more, more episodes, episodes than you. He's probably been on more episodes than me. Sean, How many did we do? Sean's been on more episodes of the biggest problem than me. 
<laughs> the <laughs> oldest standing co-host of the biggest problem in the universe. Oh, yeah, the oldest host of the show. More than Matt, more than me. <laughs> well, at this point, you've you've now you have an extra hundred episodes on him now, but yeah, uh, the previous version, uh, yes. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Sorry. This is so weird to me. <laughs> Math is so off. I like the intros new. Like I didn't. I, if, I'm, I'm kind of freaking out because I'm like. I had no it idea what the theme song was because so I've never, strange. you know, because because I'm because I'm a dirtbag and I haven't listened to this show once. Why would you? <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> out of curiosity, think you think like a as a as a friend, I would like, you no, know, I'd, Sean, I'd we've tune been in for a for twelve years. I don't expect. <laughs> good. I'm uh, shocked good. that my girlfriend still listens to it. Yeah, I'm shocked yeah. that anybody listens to it. Anytime somebody tells me, "Oh, I listen to your podcast every week," I'm like, "Why? Why? <laughs> What's wrong with you?" <laughs> don't worry, you'll stop. On. One of these days, yeah, I'll say something about you, and you'll stop. Stop listening. <laughs> That's cool. I think it's it's. Uh, I can't believe it's been this many episodes already. It's crazy. That's great. The show is doing so well because I know it's doing well. Yeah, it's doing. So it's, it's nailing it. It's not we, doing as well as Carl's show though because I don't think our fans love us as much as they love Carl. I don't think our we we need to. Uh, Carl, Carl buys viewers too. He, Carl, yeah, Carl. We like, know we know that he Carl his numbers. Is predatory with his stuff. Like he paywalled his stuttering mm. John interview he and did. Vito and I give it away. Yeah, Carl like kind of. Uh, 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 He's got pay pigs. He, he makes them pay. his audience. Yeah, like pay yeah. pigs, like yeah. Andrew Tate, like that kind of mentality. Oh, like like, like Disneyland behind a paywall. Exactly. It's like Disneyland. Exactly. It's like yeah. <laughs> we're just like your pal, right? You know, right? I think we're catching up. But Carl's been going longer than this iteration of the show, right? Yeah. W A T P like four years old. Mm-hmm. We're gonna catch him. Although we do need our uh, more stuttering Johns of our own. That's that's what where do the you mean we got Eric. Well, July. We got one. He's we got the, one. He's on this show too, obviously. <laughs> he started on. He's more on this show. Yeah, I figured with the uh, yeah. He false doing? flagged uh, Riley, really? just before the show started. Really? Yeah, he DMCA'd or something. Riley. Riley has his own brand of a, what do you call it? Parody Ripiverse merch <laughs> called the Clipiverse, <laughs> which features yeah. two hair clippers because his. <laughs> Goal in life is to get so fit that he's going to sneak up on Eric July and shave his hairy shoulders. That is Riley's goal in life. Yeah. We've all been tracking his progress. Uh, he, is there a scale involved? Uh, no, just every he, every day he posts a video of him walking up a hill and talking shit about Eric July and his hairy shoulders. Yeah, it's isn't that one of the greatest cool? comedy bits in the history? <laughs> <laughs> and and Eric, he decided to put up like stupid little mer- like you can buy clip. Clearly, no one was buying this. <laughs> like, how many clip of verse T-shirts was Riley really selling? Yeah, uh, but Eric July decided that it was an illegal use of his yeah. official. And he's Trademark. made it worse. Yeah, and has made it worse. Yep. Of yeah, course. look, see, ah. this is they don't learn. This is what when Riley is. Uh, this is what his parody <laughs> logo is. See, is that ri- fucking Riley? That's Riley. Yeah, you didn't. He's so masculine, right? When we yeah, met him, he I was didn't... a child. Now he's a full-grown man. Beef he's cake. getting ready to pull up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's well, look his... at this. Eric July's employee, Alex Miller, Alex James Miller, has flagged down my clipper. Oh my logo god. Oh for no. My store. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you think you can fucking flag my parody logo design <laughs> yeah. to my website and get away with it, Alex? <laughs> Look at the guns and he's got the barber's wall behind him. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to teach you and Eric a little thing about fair use. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my God. God. He's like oh, Cartman man, doing Macho Man. man. <laughs> the Clippa verse is real, folks. Um, God yeah, damn. so this whole week we've been told that false flagging is really bad unless Eric July does it. In and which then case he's protecting his comic. He's protecting his comic <laughs> and it's based. So people posted images of his comic going, oh, well, this comic's kind of a piece of shit. And yeah. rather than ignoring them as a normal comic company would do, his employees have been striking the images, <sighs> claiming they were stolen from a pirate. Which is like a cardinal sin on the internet. Vito yeah, got, I thought Vito, it was. Vito got shit from that entire right wing like I didn't retard even sector. Actually, <laughs> issue any DMCA of any sort. Yes, you did. You, uh, uh, but I'm. But I didn't get anything taken down. This is clearly worse. <sighs> it's worse. Yeah. It's absolutely well, worse. Uh, uh, yeah, so Eric July did it, and none of them care. Yeah, well, sure. They're like, well, you know, he, had, our to, guy. he had to do that. Oh, yeah, of course. That's our guy. Of and course. He's, he's black, too. I mean, he's very important on our side. 
Oh, yeah, oh, I understand. Yeah. yeah. I told yeah. Dick before the show that I'm like, he's, I'm hey, like, he's one of the good ones. I'm nuts because everybody for the longest time was like, Vito is a flagger and he's the yeah. worst guy ever. And I'm like, I was making a little joke on Twitter. It got out of hand. I shouldn't have done it. I get it. Well, you did it to. Make to them fuck afraid. with them. Yeah, well, like to make them like a little terrorism. Cringe. It's not terrorism. It was fucking around. I didn't think anything would happen, and nothing did happen. Eric legitimately took people's posts down. Mm -hmm. He abused the DMCA system. It is like above the Cardinals. He's Hitler. Hitler. That's what Matt Jarbo did, and everybody was so mad about <laughs> yes, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, that's, that, it's a million <laughs> times worse than anything I ever did. And everyone goes, Yeah, but Eric's like, you know, trying to protect his brand, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. hate all these fucking people, and I want them to. To die. They're, They're liars. driving me nuts. They're, They're liars, liars and crooks. They They're will die. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Should we do the In last Minecraft? The problems. Can you yes. bump that channel up? The Discord channel. Uh, the SEC one. Mm. Yeah, obviously. I would think and would. low ball pro is easy, easy money. You bring that in, yeah. yeah you should do not. one then if you sell instead of just. I'll doing leave food the stuff. the oh the government is bad problems to the great Dick Masters. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys know that? Like, Where would you the be without government? the SEC, Vito? Oh, uh, not being able to talk to animals—that was the. That's a good problem. Mm. Yeah. Um, we were upstairs playing with dogs. Imagine if we had been able to talk to them. Yeah. Would have been a much more exciting. I don't want to know what my parents' dog has to say. Well, pro I, probably please shoot me. I'm fucking old as fuck. I want to know yeah. what that old dog is thinking. There's an old dog upstairs. No, I don't want to hear that. I don't that. know what old dog wisdom is I don't want my dog there. telling my parents what's happening yeah, here. Yeah, well. Vice versa. Dog uh, sharing your secrets is fillet a problem. Filet of fish disrespectors. What do you think about those guys, Sean? You what know, do you think about the filet of fish? Uh... I don't ever remember having a fillet of fish ever. Wow, well, buddy, it's your lucky day. That's what we're I think you're do. one of the disrespectors. Really? Or the I disrespectors have probably poisoned your mind to believe. Do you have well, any kind have. of biases toward just, the fillet of fish? I'm just not a big fan of like fish sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lucky for you. This is yeah. mostly tartar sauce. That's okay. not true. I like tartar sauce. Tartar sauce <laughs> I do is like okay. tartar sauce. See, I used to eat a lot of fish sticks as a kid. I imagine it's about the same yeah, thing. Yeah, it's about a fish stick. It's, yeah. fish it's stick? a fancy. Fish it's sticks, a little nicer yeah. than a fish stick, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and then lastly was too many Hitler movies. That was you. Uh, that was mine. Yeah. Well, you know all they, the veto files. The Academy likes the hits Nazis. played. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> <laughs> See, Sean is interpreting your problem the way that normal people would interpret it. <laughs> Dick had some insane idea about Nick Fuentes and whatever else. Uh, Good problem, regardless. Uh, okay, Not Smoke said, kids being out of school is a solution if you live near a college campus. That's he's talking about our bonus episode that you can get on Patreon.com. Biggest problem in summer, yeah. Biggest problem. Patreon.com slash biggest problem. Uh, Dinas said, I had my first filet of fish this week. It was good. Please don't bring in gay sex disrespectors next week. Oh. Because then he so might have to try sex. it. Uh, <laughs> I get it. John said, the Sound of Freedom fan call in almost had me wreck my car from laughing so hard. Mm. It looks very like a very trafficable child to me. <laughs> that was uh, John, while Vito is obviously a pedo, Dick yes. manages mm. to be both that and a home o. Wow. Oh, wow. For homeowner. Pet o. Right. Have you explained this to Sean? Because you're tickled yeah. pink by this bowl. No, yeah, I know about <laughs> pet o. Yeah. We talked look, about this. Look, look. Here's a whole. <laughs> this came up on the show look and Dick this. could not stop the funniest laughing. Thing ever. It's fucking amazing. This. <laughs> this should be our first shirt. It's how okay. you describe no, it. No, we're not making a shirt out of this. Look, we're why not? <laughs> look. Although they did fuck up my. I don't. I think I said that the. It should be a guy and a kid and leave and the, the pet to the imagination. <laughs> Because no, it could be any kind right. of pet. Oh, I said that on, on yes. our show. <laughs> yeah, well, it's so true because you don't want to you don't want to <laughs> alienate. Right. You know, I mean, there's a lot of people who aren't dog. I don't want to make you pick Garfield or Marmaduke. I right. want you to just know that this is about adults and probably a kid because you have yeah. a probably you're probably homo as well, homeowner. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Homo yeah. slash pedo yeah. community. Yeah. This is one of those ideas which I like. It's funny. I get it. Like, we should not and execute. And Noel's like, oh, yeah. God, I well, can't believe it. This is why nobody in LA. Unfortunately, we live in an era where we're not allowed to have fun and make those jokes because uh, Sound of Freedom came out and everyone now <laughs> believes that. And then one of those every guys. Every child is being kidnapped at every one, point in time. One of those guys' funders is uh, turned, is, uh, out, to turned out to be a child, child kidnapper. kidnapper. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Isn't that always a bitch when that happens? <laughs> it's always like it's ah. always like the guy who's like, pray the gay away, blah, 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 gets caught.
restart it. See, so it always no, it's, fucking does that. Yeah, did I did you, restart you, it. You did restart it? Yeah. Then it's got to be that thing. Fucking thing. Okay. At least I was about to say something down. hilarious, too. Yeah, what were you going to say? I was going to say, it's always it's, the guy It's always the guy who is pray the gay away, runs those fucking re-education yeah. camps, whatever, gets caught sucking dick in an airport bathroom. Every time. <sighs> airport bathroom? Yeah. It's usually down at the That's park. It's not very romantic. Well, no. <laughs> suck a dick. You get it where they, I mean, they're ashamed of it. You got it. You're in between flights. Like, man, I really need to suck a dick right now. Hey, they, you know, they got to get the it while they can. A lot of airports. Uh, yeah. A lot of fun. Amsterdam's got a great airport for sucking dick. I would imagine. Wow. Um, I anyway, I well, we're not going to make a pet O shirt. Disappoint. I'll make it then. Maybe I'm going for you. I don't know. I mean, I get it is funny. I'm like on the edge. Look at the, the best part is that the dog is winking. <laughs> That's so fucking funny to me. <laughs> they made a flag out of it too, like, like huh? one of those trans huh? flag uh, yeah, pride I saw flags that. things. <clears throat> it's one of those things where like, you're like it would be great if everyone would admit to getting it, but there are those people who will refuse to admit to getting it. I just don't get what the joke is. No, you get what the joke is. Yeah. Who cares about those people? I don't know. They're retarded. Well, they have they 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 cause so much trouble. Uh, Eric M says, Vito, you have more energy because you're exercising more. Your body is telling itself that you need more energy because you have a higher average energy expenditure. So it produces more energy for you to use. This is why we love working out. It makes you feel better the next day and the day after. And you feel like you have the energy to get through the day. If I get Was one that more <laughs> fucking fitness lecture from people with like these basic like, see, it's all about calories in, yeah, calories, calories out. out. <laughs> I can literally, I can go to my Twitter right now and go to my DMs and there's like a hundred unanswered. The mitochondria like, is the, the powerhouse. The thing about seed oils is that they leach into the, now when you're out and you're walking, you're going to want to track your calories. with the, uh, All right. <laughs> Guys, there's only a thousand of you whose who's <laughs> fucking advice hey, you know what? I can integrate into my yeah. life. You should use smaller plates. Smaller plates. You ever oh, heard this one? one? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's a good one. Uh, I'm happy. I'm on my. I'm playing Diablo on my exercise bike. Perfect little uh, game. Uh, to just uh, dick around. Wow. Uh, you got like 700 bucks on the line now at VitoLoses.com. I know. Oof. Fuck it. I hope I hope uh, I hope I make weight. I don't know. It's gonna uh, be Tassel says, why does Vito to cancel want- the fight? To do it at a catch weight. <laughs> why does Vito want the Pokemon guy to call him father dad? Did you want somebody to call you father dad on the I don't know. show? Somebody uh, a Pokemon guy called in. I don't remember exactly what we talked about. Priest with kids. I think we discussed our parasocial relationship that he thinks of me as a father figure. Oh, really? And I told my son to stop stealing Pokemon cards from the Target or whatever he does. Oh, uh, I see. Uh, Robocop says, Dick and Vito have become the boogeymen of comics and outrage culture. I love it. Every time somebody makes a take they don't agree with, you got at least three people saying it's Dick and Vito's fault, even if they're not mentioned. Dude, it's <laughs> actually true. All it's Dick really weird. Was hold a mirror up to everyone. Yeah. Well, Anytime somebody says, well, I didn't really right. like Isom, the immediate reply is, you must be a fan of Dick and Vito. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> wow. Are we really, like, the only ones? That say, this is crazy. You know what I realized? Now that Isom 2 is out, it's out. I haven't seen it yet. I was going to yeah, ask about either. that. As soon as someone pirates it and sends it to me, I'll illegally give it to everybody. <laughs> oh, no. Because Don't everyone should pirate ISOM and everything <laughs> Eric July makes because it's all trash <laughs> and shit. And he doesn't <laughs> deserve to make any <laughs> money. You should steal bad art. It art, Bad art is a crime, and you should punish it by stealing it. And if Eric July was, a, a, was an anarcho-capitalist like he claims, he would agree. Well. Inter intellectual property is a fuck is a crime yeah. against creativity and mankind and should be abolished. Pirate everything except for this. Give us money. Give us Pirate money our show, show, but give us money at Patreon because you agree with my stance on pirating. <laughs> please don't. Please don't pirate. I Here comes a lawsuit. They're already so mad at me. So now. Every time I go on Twitter, I get a million fucking guys going, you're just trying to destroy. How much is each episode? Popular black man. Of what? Of our show? Or? No, of, of uh, Isom. How much is a I comic? Song? Yeah, each one. Uh, each, bucks. The, but the average customer is so. Uh, uh, Cucked. whipped, dick whipped. They do the whole by, that they buy uh, that they spend a hundred and twenty dollars a piece. What? They'll get like a the hat, average customer one hundred twenty bucks. Well, they'll get multiple copies of the same comic, mm -hmm. like so they can one to Keep read, one pristine. One, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like the '90s oh, speculator thing where you'd buy a bunch of chrome holofoil garbage. 
Um, and uh, hope it's going to go up in value. So now, all of the uh, influencers and like OnlyFans whores are all tr- pretending to like ISOM too. Now that it's hit, I forgot this part of how fun it will be. Right. Now they're like all like, <laughs> oh yeah, I loved it. Oh, can't mm. wait, can't wait to read more. Right? Because they want, because they know how dumb all of Eric's customers well, are. Well, they want Eric's customers they for themselves. They want the money for yeah. themselves. Uh, you know? Okay. You understand. Um, maybe the second one will be better. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Let's see. Let's review it. Uh, Redfield says, "Why do you keep talking about Isom? You're <laughs> so jealous of his success. The comic is all right. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. just starting, for Christ's sake. All of you in this chat making fun of someone that has two successful campaigns. It won't be like that all the time. This just shows that people are ready for something different than what's currently out there." All of y- all of you should be excited that more independent releases are coming. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, I am excited that more independent comics are coming, like the good ones. You know, there, there's guys making cool stuff. I I don't I don't understand this like idea that it's like well it's something new and I'm like well, what do you mean in what way? <clears throat> there's always been shitty fucking superhero comics. New doesn't imply better yeah, or good yeah, or anything. It's just new. It's, well, I just had the, new I ideas. Just wish these guys, yeah, okay, just cool. write what you really think. Go. At least there's no f- gays in it, you know? <laughs> 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 That's all you want to say. At least there's no fucking gay stuff in my comic. <laughs> just say that. I know that's all you care about. <laughs> They're freaking out about Splinter being gay. We were talking about that. <laughs> Splinter's gay? N- no, he's not. He's not, he's though. Not. They said There's a big conspiracy theory that the new TMNT movie, mm. that Splinter's gay because he hooks up with a cockroach. And they constantly lady? refer to the cockroach as she and her. Yeah, but there was like the one movie. poster that they put out. Does that- a cockroach wink every time it's addressed <laughs> as that? Like, yeah. Eh, yeah. No, there was like one poster where the cockroach had accidentally said, like, this cockroach is, you know. Uh, man. Scumbug appearing as himself. And apparently the producer of the movie is like, no, it's a lady cockroach. She guys fucked up the poster. But they're trying to. It's named a cockroach. (laughs) So it's like, that's the thing. Well, they're now convinced that at the last minute, Nickelodeon changed the film because they thought everybody would be pissed if Splinter was gay. Yeah. Mm. In which case, they changed the film. Mm -hmm. So he's not gay. So there's nothing to worry about. Uh, is that just speculation, or is there like there from post- inside where it's like, hey, it was it was going to be? He there was would- a poster that said himself on it, like some marketing thing oh. that happened to go out. But the director said, no, that's a mistake. Yeah, we the marketing the time, team but fucked it's still up the poster. Out. Okay, yeah. and Jackie Chan is Jackie Chan would splinter. never do a gay character. Never. No. He yeah, would be, he would be lynched. No. He just yeah, owned no. his fucking gay daughter. Yeah, yeah the yeah, idea yeah. that he's voicing a gay character is retarded. Yeah, well, it would have to be un. Be known to him. I mean, you know, he his, like, his honestly, English his English is non-existent still after all these years. If they tried to sneak it up on him, he'd be like, pull out of the movie because like yeah. he'd get fucking lynched in China for that shit. Rinched, rinched. Um, he couldn't do the Jackie Chan series. They tried for a little bit, and then they had to get James C to do it. What oh, do he was doing well. He did like yeah. the bumpers, right? He, yeah, yeah. they're trying to actually voice act the character. No, well, he can't speak. Yeah, like, that's the. Well, he can't. No, he, he, it's not How just languages. It's not know, just Sean? his English. It's not just his English is bad. It's that he couldn't. He couldn't read. Yeah. No, I remember Jackie Chan Adventures. The Jackie Chan in the show was like, "Oh, Jid, we are going on a great adventure." And yeah. at the end, Jackie Chan himself would show up, and you go, "Wow, cartoon is so uh, yeah. good and powerful." And you're like, "All right, well, that's. I, mean, I understand uh, why they got a different guy to do the, the voice. The, probably the greatest cartoon." That was the Jack Chan Adventure as good cartoon as was Tales. surprisingly good. Yeah, it was great. It was a good setup. Him, the niece, and the old the, the old man or whatever. Uh, okay, so that's. Uh, do we have any bits for the hundredth show, or is you know, uh, just doing nothing? no? I guess not. <laughs> All right. The hundredth bit is we got shot. Uh, so I don't know if that's you a got bit. Any bits prepared for today? No, uh, I. Didn't even think that you would, uh, you know, I wouldn't even think of a problem. It didn't even occur to me that this is the biggest <laughs> problem. It's like, oh, yeah, I'll just come, episode I'll come that we're sit doing in. Here. Isn't it? But shouldn't the best 100th episode, look, this is a. Shouldn't it be the 104th episode? Well, first of all, the 108th episode is going to be the big live show blowout. Okay. So that's going to be your big one. You're doing a live show? We're yeah. trying to. Ooh. Yeah. What do you think? Would it, does it make more sense for the big live show to be number 107 or number 108? Why 107 is weird. Why well, 107 what, what, was the last episode of the. Oh, I see our answers. Show, I now you're fishing for more answers. I wouldn't even remember that. 
Okay, so knowing knowing that the last show I ended, ask Dick every week, what episode are we on? <laughs> <laughs> knowing that the last show ended on episode 107, it, does it make more sense for the big live show to be episode 107 to match it? No, you or break episode it. Episode 108. Okay, well, you that's gotta break what, it. Yeah. That's what the audience says. You mm-hmm. got to break it. Yeah, I think so. I think you match it. <laughs> Why? Because then it's parallel. It's like you know, history. <laughs> what else works rhymes. like that? Ties. Already ties do. suck. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's fucking exactly what I said. Yeah. All right, Sammy Sosa. All right, Mark McGuire. <laughs> Which one's the which? Big home run race. Uh, Sammy Sosa's the black one. No, yeah, which well, one of us is fucking Sammy Sosa? Well, obviously, if it's a black one, it's you. Uh, hmm. Okay. Well, they didn't tie. <clears throat> well, who? Oh, Mark McGuire won, right? Well, yeah, he hit 70 and Sosa hit 66, I think. Mm. All I'm saying was somebody's got to beat the other. Cheating their asses <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, well, they were, they were goosed. <laughs> they were juiced. All right, so is it my turn? Well, you are the winner, Dick. Uh, I'm going to do non-drivers. Non-drivers. Mm. So we're in Greece for a week and a half or whatever. Um, dying in the heat. You're gone for a while. Yeah, too long. About about four days, three, four days too long. Mm. We get back after traveling for 24 hours, and my girlfriend says, we got to go pick up uh, our dog at your parents' house. We've been watching the dog. And they're like an hour, 50 minutes away, an hour mm-hmm. away. So it's like, ah, oh, uh, okay, yeah, we're going to have to land after flying for 24 hours and then go get the dog. Yeah, I guess, okay. Jeez. So we get back, and she goes, well, wouldn't it be great if they could bring they could bring the dog to us? And so I said, they'll never do They would never do that. No. Never in <laughs> fucking 10 million years. I agree with you that it would be nice, Yeah. but they would never in fucking a million years do that. She goes, oh, that's too bad. So we couldn't muster up the strength to drive up there, and we landed. So we went to sleep. Instead, Vito went on Nick Riccati's show and argued about fair use and free speech and stuff. You did stuff. a very good job on Nick Riccati's show. And everyone agreed with you. Wow. Well, Everybody said it. You were right. <laughs> Even Nick, Nick Riccati said I you were right. I think people should go flood Nick Riccati's comments with Vito was right <sighs> to counteract all the stupid Kiwi Farms kids and go, I don't care if Vito's right. I want him to be wrong. Mm. So we wake up and drive up there to get our dog. <clears throat> it's supposed to be a little, uh, uh, we get our dog and, and we're like, all right, well, we'll drive back home. Okay, we got the dog. Now it's time to lay down. I get, almost immediately get a call from my mom. Hey, we got to go out of town. Um, can you watch our dog? Mm. Said, yeah, sure. Taking two dogs back. When? She goes, well, we're leaving tomorrow. So uh, uh, could you come up and get our dog? Wow. Mm. I said, are you? Wow. Are you insane? <laughs> After 24 hours of flying around and then. An hour up, an hour back, not 10 Wait, minutes already, ago. You had already picked up Maddie? I'd already picked oh, up no. our dog. She goes, so no, you think you could come way. up today? And Holy <laughs> shit. That, are you fucking insane? What do you think? What do you think? First of all, you have no kinds of disabilities. Aside from being a woman, you got no kinds of disabilities at all. You could drive and go wherever you want. You don't use a scooter. You don't use right. any kind of assisted anything. Nothing. Not even hearing. See, that sounds like your dad. <gasps> Speaking through her like yeah. Tyler Derrick said. That's what it no sounds like. No fucking yeah. way without, yeah. a, without even a beat. Yeah. She goes, well, do you think you could meet us halfway? I'm like, uh, are you fucking <laughs> s- no? In fact, I'm gonna drive further away. <laughs> yeah, come meet me from you. Right. Meet me side. downtown. Yeah, <laughs> meet me in Long Beach. I'm gonna be down there all day signing autographs to no one. Come drop your own dog off down there. She goes, why? Well, then I hear shouting in the background. My dad. Well, we got the the garage guy coming to fix the garage. Oh, we can't the garage possibly get. Coming. Yeah. Aren't there two of them? Two garages? No, two. Oh, two of them. <laughs> yeah. Two adults. You're right. People. Couldn't one of them wait for the garage guy? Uh, no, because they're <laughs> non-drivers. Right. They don't drive. Do they never drive like anywhere? Like Zoolander. Yeah. I don't turn left. I don't drive at all. Yeah. Wherever you're going, we're not driving. Well, they have a car, though. They have mo- many cars. Oh, many cars. I never don't know how to use them, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if it can atrophy. They do not mm. fucking drive. So I bring this up, and my girlfriend says, yeah, the same thing happens to me. I'll meet these new friends. Yeah. And I'll go like, okay, well, do you want to get some, do you want to, like, get some do food something or cool, something yeah. or do something? And they say, well, yeah, but I don't drive, so it would have to be, like, if you could come over and pick me up or we could do something. It's a big in, problem like, with women. <sighs> a lot of women are very afraid of driving. 
especially in this modern age. They're I'm also afraid of them driving. They're weirdly <laughs> afraid. They're either they're too afraid so they don't drive at all, yeah. or they're not afraid at all and they get in like 50 accidents. <laughs> the not afraid at all is worse almost. Yeah. It's like you don't understand. You think it would be worse. You, well, you need to understand inertia. There's some basic physics that you you don't have the reaction time to stop this two-ton machine when you're fucking whipping it around like that in a fucking parking lot. Stop telling the story and just drive for... Yeah. You yeah. need to be paying attention in the parking lot, and you can pick up the story once you're on the freeway. I know. And even then, you can't be getting that in, <laughs> as into it as you're getting. I know, I know. I had a girlfriend who had, like, severe anxiety, so she couldn't drive. And she lived, like several towns over and we also couldn't hang out at her house for some reason why i, I don't know it's just afraid of her, house. her parents were there all the time and it was oh. not a big house so i guess kind of would have mm. been awkward or whatever okay so i had to drive all the way to her fucking house pick her up drive her back to my house oh. then when we were done hanging out drive all the fucking way back to her house and then finally drive back to my house again yeah. And like it was like an hour each way. It the was, picking them up thing. It's awful. <laughs> what did you say? Hey, sir, I'm going to go fuck your daughter in my house. <laughs> I mean, like, that's what was happening. Yeah. I'm hey, like, honey, get in the car. <laughs> ass first. Back it up. <laughs> I was always like, hello, sir. We're going to go enjoy a night out on the American town. Get some American cheeseburgers. Is that what you do when you have a daughter? You just 40. like trick her into making guys do all this work? To I guess. Fuck you. Like, yeah. Mm. Drive them here, drive them there. Drive them all around. Yeah. And uh, try to put out of your mind what's happening once they leave your house. I got some stats. Um, men drive 16,000 miles a year. Women drive an average of 10,000 miles. It's quite a big difference. Yeah. Wage gap. I crave again. driving. I just drive for the sake of it. <clears throat> really? I'll just get in my car and just tool around, <laughs> feel you, the road. Why? I don't know. Gets me out of the house. I got nowhere yeah. else to be. I, I could see that. No, yeah. I've done that before. Yeah. I just get stir crazy. I'm just like, I gotta go. I gotta drive. There's nowhere to go though. I don't know where to go. You just drive till you hit water. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Well, then keep going. Somehow they figured out a way to drive down here and drop their oh, dog they did it. off oh, miraculously. They did it. Wow. So I didn't did have to drive. Good. The Must same drive, two-hour drive again that I had just driven. Must have given enough fucking, like, phone attitude How to get they? them to shame them into, <laughs> temporarily shame them into actually doing, like, doing a small thing to repay you for the favor that you're doing them. Oh, they watched your dog, too, but yeah. still. It's still, the driving is, uh, what do you call it? So... Why did they it's not, not think to give you the dog when you came over the first time? Because they weren't going to go. And then they changed their minds and they decided uh, to go. Oh, because my fu yeah, fucking more. Actually, more <laughs> driving is why. Okay. They were going to go first. They were going to drive uh, to Nebraska. Wow. But then my sister's husband got COVID. So they called the whole trip off because, of course, none of them could possibly drive. Uh, yeah. Right? right? Yeah. Oh, well, we can't possibly go. So then they had a big fucking struggle session and decided they'd try to drive without him. Yeah. So then they oh, had boy. to, but he's going to fly out at the end after he recovers from COVID yeah. to drive them back. Gotcha. Because <laughs> both ways would be way too much. Both ways is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, <laughs> taking years off your the life. The first way is going to be trauma traumatic, traumatic enough. Traumatic, right, right. So if you know a non-driver, if you have a non-driver in your life, mm -hmm. please vote this problem up. The first time I got a girlfriend who had her own car and enjoyed driving us places, I remember being like, this is this is bliss. This is all I ever wanted. Oh yeah, she drove all the way back from uh, Vegas uh, last that's time we a, went. That's yeah. a keeper. And yeah, I decided great. at the beginning that I wasn't going to feel bad about it. Yeah, right. Because usually, like, I still said all the you know. Right. Uh, but oh, I, you're so great. I decided internally that I wasn't going to feel bad about mm. it at all. And the whole way home, I was just like, ah, snoozing, mm -hmm. <laughs> not even paying attention. Well, some people driving is not like you know a chore. Like for me, like I've uh, I used to drive around with my dad all the time for just hours because he was always yeah. zipping around doing business shit. So just drive I, around with him for hours, I, I, <laughs> not doing business, <laughs> just driving. Around, like, what the fuck? No, so I'm just you know I'm used to being in a car for a long stretch of time. And uh, whatever. Some people can't handle it. All right, what's your my what's problem, yours? Dick? And this will this will be great because we have an audio engineer here. Is mm. uh. Uh, what do you? What was I gonna say? The low 
uh, production quality of amateur pornography. Mm. Now, guys, once the internet, like lighting, isn't it? Well, there's it's a lot big, of problems, yeah. and we're going to go through them in order. Now, I'm a guy. I am a red-blooded American male. I'm very excited about the internet age. You're a pedo. I'm not a pet. You're an average well, I'm American a pet owner. Pet, I'm an average <laughs> American <laughs> pet. Oh, a pet owner. Yeah. And as such, I enjoy some pornography. And the internet age has given us access to a wide variety of uh, more pornography than we've ever seen before. True. Yeah. Yeah. Which sounds exciting on the surface. It is. But when you start digging into it. Mm. It's like you a topless realize. beach. It's a double-edged sword. Exactly. Yeah. The topless beach sounds great, but then you get there, there's some uh, imperfections, some inconsistencies, mm. some saggy skin. And I think the era of amateur porn, frankly, I think these people are phoning it in, and we are literally. getting a low production. Mm. Literally mm. phoning it in. Yeah. Filming on their phones. Bad lighting. How are you, how are you complaining about free pornography? Because... Why would you not want to up your craft? Well, let's put it this way. I'm a YouTuber, right? And the whole thing on YouTube, okay. we're constantly talking about how to up your game and make it in the creator ecosystem. And it's all about finding different kind of lights and making sure your audio is great. Because you want to get none of you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> but my audio is pretty should good. Porn, should, wait, should porn stars start talking about how the SJWs are ruining Star Wars no, while they're banging? That. Is that? I don't want that. <clears throat> but I will say, one of the first ones, all right, I am really bothered by the bad audio. Okay, especially because I'm a guy, I like these videos where it's kind of like a POV, like the girl's talking to you, like she's going to do something to you. What is she going to do? She's call like, the cops. Oh, oh man. <laughs> call the cops, yeah, you rapist. Call the cops. No, yeah. she's like, oh, man, I'm going to suck something, and I'm going to fuck something, and you're right Cox there in the or something else. <laughs> Cox, yes, obviously. Why are you so uncomfortable saying I'm that? I'm uncomfortable. I'm trying to, you know, say this in a way that... <laughs> I don't want so if someone's audit. listening with their kids, they're going to ruin it. It's okay, honey. Well, you know what he said, he said she's going to suck something. There it's are all. pets out there, for fuck's sake. The problem is, I'll download the video. It sounds great. You know, these, these torrent sites where you can get all these, these clips. And I download it. I'm like, well, this is going to be great. And then I listen to it, and immediately I hear the air conditioner running. Mm, yeah. There's what a fan downloading? in the background. Like I told you, it's like this POV, like, hey. I'm what gonna, do you search for on the torrent? POV, POV what? Porn. Air conditioner. Yeah. <laughs> Air conditioner porn. Girl wants to suck your cock. <laughs> like angry Hispanic lady yells at your penis for being too big. Like whatever else. Mm, <laughs> I think you're making up silly. Like <laughs> guys, when they get uncomfortable, they start making up silly porn stuff. It's not silly no. porn. Look, the point is that there no are stupid. actresses no. and they're saying dirty things to get me excited. But yeah. all I'm hearing is their terrible air conditioning and fans, which could easily be knocked out with a low-pass filter or some simple equalization, Sean. Well, yeah, that goes a long way. It goes and a long way. Not to mention way. there's incredible just noise removal there's software. There's so much that, noise removal software. Yeah. it's. It, I mean, if a clip is good, I will take it and I will run it through the noise remover just to see if I can clean. I have to clean up the pornography. Yeah, this stuff is, off? It's come so, so far. Sometimes. So the lighting is terrible. I have to take it into... No, that's a that's good though, man. No, I no, want because hmm. the reason like if you get too much high production value in pornography, it's like no. when they remastered Star Wars at 120 hertz. Oh yeah, it just you looks like garbage cans right. that got spray painted. Like you don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to see that much of a woman yeah. ever. I well, your least... your brain fills in the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I think there is a there is a too good. You can have too good a resolution yeah. for porn. I want at least the white balance is a little lot where they don't look like a fucking zombie woman, okay? And a little bit, it's like, it's too dark, too much grain. What is this? Better qualify white balance. Well, yeah. you're not getting white balance in most of these uh, uh, wonderful pieces of media. Also, <laughs> okay, let's be clear. We know it's a small production. To sometimes it's just one girl with a camera, okay? But the framing... Baby, you get like a get like a second monitor to check uh, mm. to make sure you're framed up. Uh huh. Because I've gotten the, these clips and it's like pointed at the ceiling. With one girl who is I don't believe the Hispanic lady yelling at your penis it's is too big. <laughs> he wants to call out this porn star and he's not doing yeah, it. Yeah, one what amateur a, porn star. There's are you a talking variety about? of these porn stars. It's like it's like virtual. It's not virtual reality, but it's like POV. 
like pornography. Like they're just talking nasty to you. And then there's like a guy that's supposed to be you, you yeah. know? So she starts like sucking uh-huh. on that guy's dick, but it's supposed to be your dick. POV blowjobs then. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like okay. that. I All mean, right. sometimes they'll actually have sex with the guy and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like you're, cause I don't, cause I want to be part of it. I don't want to watch her fuck some other guy. Okay. You know? All right. Okay. Uh, but then so the framing, if he like moves the camera, well, then you're would, like, oh, I'm looking at a, another guy's cock. Oh no. <laughs> well, sometimes they won't have another guy. Sometimes it'll be like a dildo that they're pretending. I hate penis. that. I also, I do hate that. I yeah, hate that obvious. shit. Yeah. Uh, but cause they try to like not be a whore and yeah. do that. And it's like, oh, fuck you. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Such that it's bullshit. It's also just, yeah, it's, it's not real enough. Regardless. Uh, another problem is that these people, in addition to the production quality of the the uh, equipment they have, there's a real lack of improv training in the amateur porn community. Huh, okay. Now, you, Dick, you uh, famously did what? Uh, Upright Citizens Brigade? Yeah. What's the first no, rule of famously. improv? Uh, location. <laughs> Location's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, the rule. <laughs> the yes, yes and the yes is that what you're talking rule, about? You, yes. want, you want that in porn? Yes. Well, because sometimes they'll be. <laughs> I'm fucking you in space. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Hitler's here. And he has AIDS. Yeah. No, they'll be. They'll have these videos, and it's two girls are going to suck your cock, right? And I'm one listening. Of them, and one of them goes like, I'm going to suck uh, the hell out of your cock, right? <laughs> and the other one goes, no, I'm going to suck his cock. And I go, bitch, yes, and she already established that she's going to suck the cock. And now you're coming in and changing the whole thing. Just, you know, encourage her. Go, yeah, you should suck that cock. You'd be a good porn director. I would. I would stop the scene immediately. Hey, and don't I'd you go, want him fighting over you? <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, but not in right, like gives you more power. I guess I don't know. It's just like sometimes it gets into these awkward situations where it's like if you they're know, not like, fighting something, they're <laughs> lying right, to you. Right? Okay, but like <laughs> well, we have them, to teach them how to watch porn. One I think. of them will express like a clear direction, like "Oh, I'm gonna lick, I'm gonna lick Let's the go shaft," shopping. and then the other one will be like, "No, I'm gonna tickle the balls," and I'm like, "No, no, like let her do." The- this is way too specific. What what exactly did you see that makes you think of this? Because you're not saying it. <laughs> I'm just telling you that there's a variety of porn movies. Yeah. With these people. Uh, they don't have the improv training. Okay. They don't. They have bad equipment. It's mm. all set up wrong. Yeah. And uh, frankly, the quality just isn't there. And I think these amateur. Uh, well, stop watching amateur porn then. Watch your big budget pedo wood stuff. Yeah, but sometimes the amateur girls are crazy, you know? <laughs> yeah. You know. Well, they're trying to, you know, get a roster spot. <laughs> That's right? I mean, you got to... The point is... What torrents Dick, are you putting it? Where do you find don't these? Don't worry about what torrents there are. <laughs> the point is, Dick, <laughs> there's a variety of exciting pornography out there. I like... I want to be in the scene. That's why I want the yeah. VR porn to be good. Mm, right. I want to be a part of the action. It's pretty good. Is it good? No, it's not good. Under, it, yeah. If the helmet's the worst part... I still oh. haven't got the helmet. I should get the helmet. So how are you judging VR porn if you don't have the helmet? They have the ones you can watch on your phone, and it's like... Oh. What? Like you cross your eyes? Like the no, opti- no, no. Yeah, but it's yeah. like you can like look around with the phone and stuff. What do you mean? It's like you hold it up, and then it's like it's like you're in the room. Yeah, you basically hold it up to your eyes, kind no, of. No, that's no good. You got to get the whole immersive helmet. I know. I haven't. Well, they're expensive. I don't know which one to get. Bucks. You could, if you just lost some weight, you'd get a. Well, maybe if VR I win the weight loss helmet, uh, no challenge, problem. I will get the VR porno helmet. Oh. But in the meantime. I think all the this whole realm of amateur porn, they need to pick it up. They need to. Uh, oh man! And then it's going to be about like, then they're going to take it too seriously, and they're going to start networking and building I just want brands to fix the audio. and stuff. If a girl's going to talk do- dirty to me, I don't want to hear her fucking air conditioner. It doesn't work. Maybe they should dub it. They should <laughs> dub it. <laughs> It'd probably be better. Get a professional voice actor in there. <laughs> To yeah. make it good. Uh, That's my problem. The lacking quality of amateur okay. pornography. The production okay. quality of amateur pornography. Because you've okay. never had more tools at your disposal than now. Yeah, yeah. there's so no excuse. You should be making yeah. Hollywood quality anything. Go get a get a decent Part of the camera charm for of nothing. It, man. I don't find it charming. Yeah. 
Um, well, you're going to miss it when it's gone. Maybe. Mm. Are we going to look back? Is it is that that thing? Who's the guy who has the quote where it's like, whatever is off-putting about media now will become what we are nostalgic for in the future? Yeah, like those lines, mm. the magnet lines, yeah. and the old VHS. Mm. Even static. the sound. The sound of static. The, the sound Someday. of it accepting the VHS is making your dick hot. Like, oh, yeah, here it comes. Yeah, it's true. Mechanical, Monography. yeah. Someday yeah. we'll be making, like, high-quality right fucking huh? alien virtual porn. We'll be putting fucking film green all over it to make it look like it came out of an iPhone 3. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm excited. Sean, do you have a problem? Already? Yeah. It's <laughs> you know what? Now. <laughs> now that you, now that you, it's funny you brought up, you brought up audio. Yeah. So in COVID, yeah, I guess my problem is, uh, actors recording at home. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's, it's not a good problem, but if anybody's <laughs> oh, ever I watched. I that interesting. If anybody's watched any, but, yeah. because 95% of the time it's complete fucking crap and all you're doing is frosting shit. <laughs> so as soon as, as soon as COVID hit. You know, they want to keep making yeah. shows. It's like, okay, now it's equipment is affordable. Here's the thing that nobody thinks about it, and still doesn't think about for whatever fucking reason because they don't have any experience with it. it the fucking room. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you the can, room I don't, noise is terrible. I don't care if you've put a fucking microphone an inch from a guitar cabinet, it's still getting the room. That just a little bit. The room fucking matters. So now you've got a condenser microphone. People are acting. They're all over the place. They're they're uh, yeah. they're in a fucking walk-in <laughs> closet. There's a walk-in closet. Every room has a sound. They turn off a little bit. All of a sudden, you get a fucking boost. Of, uh, you know, here it's a, yeah. there's things called modes and nodes in room. Right? This is real geeky shit that you should never talk about on a date ever. <laughs> so you'll never get another one. But it's it's basically I can remember you recording shows. Small talk on a date at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Record no. <laughs> I just you assume yeah. never date again. Yeah. But you, I can remember sitting there and. Like production is like, no, no, well, you know, this is, this is okay. Like what they have is, is we feel like it's good enough to use. And we're like fucking some fucking poor, there's going to be, remember when we started, it was going to be like in about nine months, there's going to be some really fucking pissed off mixers. I can remember, I won't, <laughs> I won't name the show, but one in particular is so fucking bad. It was like, I can't believe it's like, can we get them? You know, we'll give them a, Please, can you uh, do hang a bunch of fucking blankets in there? Like, don't do it when the gardener's there with the weed, oh God. Fuck, with the lawn. Jesus blower. Christ! It's yeah. like I think they think that you can fix anything, and I was like, this is gonna be somebody's worst fucking nightmare. Whoever gonna, is gonna mix this is going to be fucking pissed off. Some poor fucking bastard. Little did I know the poor bastard was me. <laughs> <laughs> so it... Can you kick any of that stuff back? Can you go, this is just actually well, unusable? If something is actually distorted, if something's distorted, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. If something is actually distorted, uh... Yeah, but sometimes yeah. there, you know, sometimes, sometimes there's not safety for that one time. Sometimes, right? oh god, it's 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 such a. It, I watch because I'm curious. I was like, oh, what does this show sound like? What is this? And there's just a huge, huge drop in animation qu audio quality. Really, with the voice yeah. acting. COVID. Be yeah, during COVID, it's it's still happening, and there's still. Luckily, the casting directors now are sending out auditions to actors saying expected to record in studio because they want to go back to to, to uh, yeah. doing cast records. Right. <clears throat> you know, like you can actually get a flow you yeah. know what i mean you don't have to uh it's amazing how good they can actually do by understanding the script and not even hearing each other's lines yeah. then sometimes the less experienced people it's like okay we got to pull lines beforehand so you can so they can play off of it which slows everything down it's time you know time is money so yeah if they want people to come back but still there's a lot of people well i've been recording for three years at home so it's like yeah and it sucked ass for three <laughs> fucking years it like trash it's garbage it's fucking Do garbage guys, you can tell that yeah. they're in different rooms with different equipment oh, none sucked. of it's good every once in a while You'll get you'll get some people who have real pro setups, and yeah. I'll throw this name out there for anybody in video game world: Troy Baker. Oh yeah, that, that guy fucking he can record at home anytime he wants. Yeah, but he's Who's the Troy one. Baker? He's the one. Uh, I know the last game. Uh, the Last of Us. Well, Last you know, of Us. I mean, oh. He's done a million things. He's done a Death billion Stranding things. Was but the last game. I no, he's got a fucking. He's his shit's better than than ours. Like, yeah. it's, can you just delete all the video game it, dialogue because it's all like just skip, skip. <laughs> skip, skip <laughs> I don't, some people love the stories. I guess yeah, I don't know. I'm not a gamer. Anyway, say that to like to look cool. That's my. It's 
you know, I've talked to mixers who go, they go, I don't think I've mixed anything in two and a half years. I, I've, I've frosted shit. I've fixed things yeah. as best I can, <laughs> but there's no, there's no time or budget to fix it. So it just, do they not you go, give well, they were guys? recorded in three different places. You can only do so much. Uh, they don't give them like strict instructions, like record here, only do this, close bro, all the doors. They, well, if, if, luckily, you're a lot of times they hook up with an actual studio so you can kind of babysit them. It's like, yeah, hey, I heard something in the back. Did, did the air just go on? Is that your computer fan? Oh, is they that have the a leaf blower? Can yeah. you tell your kid to stop walking around upstairs? <laughs> yeah. Can it, yeah, but it's still you're only going to you're only going to hear so much and they've got to get it done. So it's 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 uh, it's I'm surprised all these professional crap. voice actors don't have like a little studio. They thought it was going to be home. temporary. A lot of them do, but they yeah, a lot they of just us they did. yeah they just it was just a stopgap. You know yeah. what I mean? So it was like they bought. I saw the guy whatever who plays bullshit Beach Boy, USB mic. Or, sorry, Beast, Beast Boy has his own. They set him up for yeah COVID. Sipes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I saw yeah. they like did a tour of his house. He's like, oh, they built me this because of COVID. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, that guy must do a shit ton of voice acting. So, well, makes I mean, sense. And, yeah, he's, you know, or, that show or makes one a ton big of money. one. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. the thing. No, I mean, he does a bunch of stuff, but he's always, he's always that guy. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's, he's not like a chameleon, but yeah, but he's sure. Yeah. So, ah, uh -huh. damn this thing. Overload. Did it stop? Yeah. It stopped this time. Hang that on. was a different error. Yeah. Okay. So a CPU overload occurred. All right. Fucking We're back. So, yeah, you know, I mean, they, they will there. We've actually gone to people's, uh, you know, houses and set them up because it was important enough like for them to say, treatment. hey, just yeah. well, well, just yeah, set up their equipment, put yeah. them in somebody, you know, like treated their room as best they could. And it's still not still not as as good because, you know, you go off Michael, you start hearing the room more and more. You yell, you're exciting oh, the room. It sounds like fucking crap see now i want to like find out after the show like all right which show sounds like complete dog sh is there any all shows of you them. Work? them yeah but is there any one that you didn't work on that you're like you can listen to it and you know how bad it is uh, everything is just so bad and lazy yeah. now nothing comes I, to mind but it never yeah. got any better after everyone left work and slowly started coming back it's all all the everything is, is like everything all of human civilization has become asyn it's asynchronous yeah. it's like yeah. okay well i know when are you gonna be around that we can talk about this oh in like an hour and a half or like maybe uh all right well i guess i'll try back later We've had a difficult time getting our media back on track. COVID really fucked all the TV shows and the movies. and Everything's been bad. Everything. It's just... It, everything's yeah. just horrible They now. just need to fucking insist. It's like, it, it's over. Yeah. Everybody come back. Unless you have some kind of crazy fucking immunocompromised no, 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 system. No, 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 no. That's because like, that's how they get... That, I know. No, they'll, no, I know no. they'll, they'll, they'll come up because with that. Because the, the <laughs> amount of yeah. therapy dogs and yeah, fake... Yeah, yeah. Button, if you've You're ever right. seen I take anybody that back. with a blind... Yo, no. I get take your back. fucking yep. AIDS ass back in the studio yep. now i take it back from from you my can't give them an inch my perspective yeah nobody should be nobody should be recording at home yeah except for a select few who were doing it beforehand because they do so much work and you know people everybody had to figure out how to get good internet number yeah. one i mean jesus christ right yeah it, it probably took it probably took the first year to get most people <laughs> to shitty quality <laughs> I'm getting worked up talking about it. It's, it's got to be the most boring thing on earth for this for I this yeah, fucking episode. But I love this stuff. But it's got to name drop more people. Then I know really the problem is I want it. all the inside baseball. Like yeah, but who sucks the most? Futurama's oh. back. How is their how are their lines? Uh, I assume the writing's got the writing gets worse every iteration. So well, the 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 cast members that. Uh, I know on Futurama who I've worked with, they've always, they're some of the first ones who want to come into the studio. Uh, I don't yeah. know what they're doing now. We haven't done any, any new Futurama, but yeah. I were, I've worked with every one of those guys a million times. And they were always, as soon as they could come back, they wanted to come back because a lot of them are older. They're like, fuck this. I don't want to, yeah. I want to act. I yeah. don't want to think about being an engineer. I don't want to worry about if I'm rolling the, you know, if I'm supposed to make a new file What's because the these fucking stressful part of doing the podcast is all the recording. I don't want to worry about if I'm about to yell, you know, do I have to yeah. fucking, do I have to reset the game now? And uh, you know, I, it, they just, they don't want to think about it. So it's, it's great. It was great when they, when they wanted to come back, but it's all like the, the younger people who like think they're techie enough to do it, <laughs> but who have no fucking clue about what it takes to record just, basic clean audio you think it's easy no it's not but <laughs> acting is a you're going through, it's very dynamic uh. it's very dynamic and it's and what's really bad is when they 
they uh, they record the original record in one place. Then they come back and they do pickups. Now they've moved. So, so now they're in a different, different, or they upgraded their equipment or you something. Know, it doesn't then, even fucking it, matter. Like no, fucking, one's, no one's watching or listening to anything uh, anywhere. Uh, it's just on in the background because I everything know. is fucking terrible. But I just, because all of entertainment moved from a system where you could be successful and make a good product and you would make more money, everyone involved would make more money, to a system that's entirely... Uh, that subsists and is successful based on what the Fed says interest rates are. Yeah. There's no reason for any of these streaming companies to make any good products ever. Yeah. It doesn't affect the stock price at all. Mm. So who even fucking cares? It's like it, it's art has been in our generation. Art has been completely destroyed. All of the all yeah. of the incentives to make it mm -hmm. uh, or to support it have been. Have been totally removed well, at every we, level. What if I want to own the libs? That's one. That's <laughs> one good. Yeah, reason. that's art. Our, <laughs> our art has entirely become advertising. Yeah, that is much. it. The, the products that we're making don't matter, and that was that was that did not come about organically. It came about through it came about through these asinine uh, government restrictions on every single facet of our lives. Yeah. Shown through the only art that we now have is specifically lying. Mm-hmm. That's, That's right. it. It's a sad, sad What'd you think of, of the comic? Well, I got a. Well, uh, I uh, spent money on it. I gave my money to Eric Gelato on the lips, so I must love it. I love it. Yeah. And my response to you is an additional form of marketing. <laughs> That's how much I love this art form, is I compulsively do it. And that someone does not do it is so offensive that we have to reject them because it threatens to undermine our entire our, our artistic integrity as liars. Right. Uh, you got to keep the lie going. Well, that sucks that uh, your profession is uh, ruined. That's my problem. Vote it down. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, 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 voice, voice actors, actors not coming into the studio. Yep. Home voice actors. Yep. Home okay. VAs. Sure. Home VAs. Vito Zeus was. I'll bet was. people th will literally go like, God, that it has sounded like shit. What other video games have you worked on? Oh, I mean, we, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't want to say a bunch of shit. Spill candy, anything. Candy Crush. You worked on that? No, candy we didn't do Candy Crush, crush but. No, we do like kind of porno games? we don't we don't do a ton of video games, about? but some that are like uh, you know. Did you work with Troy Baker franchise? ever? You don't have to tell oh, me on what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah many he's, times. He's yeah. a great voice actor. Uh -huh. Sure. Hmm. Yeah. Mine was the lacking production quality of amateur pornography. Okay, lacking <laughs> production quality. These are very uh, technical uh, problems. Wow, well, we're in a hundred episodes deep. What are you gonna do? Where <laughs> you were out of problems. <laughs> non, non drivers. Yeah, that's non -drivers. actually drivers. Yeah. I was that gonna it, do rape. I should have done rape, but that would overlap. Well, do we need to much. fill more time? How how long have yeah. we been going for? Fifty nine minutes. One hour ten. How long do these shows go? We could do one about that long. We really? Could do one user problem. First person who says, uh, the first person in chat who says problem colon and then their problem. I'll do that. Assuming it's we'll not their problem. Moronic. Ah, that's the no, no, no. And we gotta problem? weigh you in too. We'll do voice we'll emails and then we'll weigh you in. Let's see. Well, we're so having a great it. time. Guys, don't forget to vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show. And check out the most uh, recent bonus episode, The Biggest Problem in Summertime, now at patreon.com slash biggestproblem and backed out by slash biggestproblem. Uh, there it is. Uh, problems. Problem. Landscapers. No, it was. Uh, gamers. We've got. I thought Adam didn't. Uh, no, uh, Adam Sessler already did that, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> No, his problem was Adam Sessler. Oh, uh, that's true. Jay's uh, not, problem not Wien, problem teeth pain, mm. problem F slurs, problem mm. carnivals, problem Republicans. I almost brought in that one. Problem ISOM, problem AIDS, uh, date pickers on phones, reply guys, landscapers, oh, bags of lettuce. That's a good one. Those Ooh. go bad pretty quick. And gamers. Okay, I guess gamers is the winner. Then. Gamers! Wait, so somebody... Mr. Magic Al. We're going to talk to somebody? Gamers. No, we're just no. going to speculate on his problem. Oh, yeah. I see how it goes. Yeah, those gamers, I tell you what. Uh, what do you call it? Well, the problem with the gamers is everyone's a gamer. So what are you identifying as exactly? I'm not. Yeah. But most people, most people are playing a video game. You're playing a video game, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, I played Darkest Dungeon. How's that? Recently. I mean, it's a it's a video game. I saw you playing. You got the Super Nintendo hooked up again. But it deleted my game, so I quit in anger. Yeah. 
And then my nephew did that. Um, he started playing the last levels too because I said it took it was so hard for me to get to the last level, and then my game got deleted. But he's doing that save thing. Save states. Yeah, save states where you're playing, you save it, mm -hmm. and then you go a little bit and save it again. So there's never any chance of, of messing up. Right. So he did the whole thing in like a half hour. <laughs> but so, well, some games don't do that, right? Here. Like the emulator you to some emulated, you, they let the you emulators do. It. do. It's oh, like okay. built into the software. Yeah. So, so there's no risk. No risk at all. Oh, okay. Well, the biggest but problem, he still feels good about it, yeah. which makes it worse. Well, that, that's, yeah, good. It's the same. Yeah. I won. Okay. Why don't you? Well, the problem is gamer, uh, fake gamer accolades, taking the glory without fighting for it. Fake gamers. Fa well, I don't, I don't know. know. All right, we'll put it up on the website here. Well, I was gonna it. say the biggest problem with gamers is that it's kind of a replacement for religion now. Is that <laughs> The, pro hmm. the problem has been the reason people are so passionate. Remember when the like, Gamergate happened? Everyone's like, why are these guys so mad? Yeah. And I'm like, well, because this is their tribalism. They have nothing else. They're mostly young white men who have been told, well, you have no racial identity. All mm. the churches are closed. All the after school programs are closed. Mm. Literally, the only thing you have is to after school go home and play Halo 2 on the Internet. Yeah. That is their community. It is their yeah. church. So when you okay. go, hey, but that church part you keep saying, it's why their, is it? Because they're what else do they? Have? It's their okay. Because um, uh, America used to be you were you were sorted along. Uh, first it was racial lines, but then the racial lines kind of got crossed, and we said, ah, Italians can be whites, and Jews are kind of white too. Who cares? Uh, wow, who's, who said that? Who's we? It just kind of it naturally <laughs> happened. We let the Irish qualify as white. Okay, so then <laughs> the the cultural lines became religious: Catholics, Christians, Jews, and that was your group. As I hang out with other Catholics, I see them at church every Sunday. Okay, that is my neighborhood community meeting place. Okay, then we found out all the religions just raped the shit out of kids and they won't stop and we said well i don't really want to make that my primary identity yeah. so we dissolved the churches and then your primary identity became these individual niche hobbies and interests when all the white kids basically what, what is this like germ steel and <laughs> whatever a veto style what, what no, is, just, this is what happened <laughs> this is like cockamamie nonsense that you're well no because well let's put it this way the black kids still got to have a racial identity after the church so is all basketball and the Asian kids got then, to or? whatever they like whatever they're into okay but white kids were all left in this conglomerate of we don't belong to anything we don't belong to a church we no longer have individual racial identities they have tons of churches for white people yeah but like most people, religion is dying off. They're not major community centers anymore. Okay. 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 The major community center Our is video games? the Call of Duty lobby is the new church. That's <laughs> it. Sitting in a Call I of Duty like lobby with your friends. Again. No, I'm what are you talking <laughs> about? Oh religion. It is their it doesn't religion. have anything to do it with video their, games. It is their tribe. It is their tribe. It is their tribal identity is gamer. I am a gamer. I hang out with other gamers. We talk about games. We love games. That's I it. Guess. That's the most important thing to them. Why do you think it's this just sports. Why do you think this culture war shit has gotten so out of control? Because we're no I, longer just talking. I can't answer that. We're not just talking about Star Wars and Final Fantasy anymore. We're literally talking about people's passionate tribal identities. They are defined by the fact that they grew up watching Star Wars and playing Zelda. That's it. They have no church. They have no family. All they have is the shit they consume. And when you go, well, that's hey, true. can yeah. we put some women in it? They go, what? the fuck you want to change the bible you want to change my scripture you want to revise it no. in any possible way and no. they lose their fucking minds because it's literally no, they love women in video games they want hot, yeah, hot chicks yeah sure everybody wants hot everything nobody wants dumpy ugly anything in video games i agree with that and that's why i tell people who attack the video games and they go well it should be more feminist or whatever else i go guys you don't understand how crucial this is to these people like Leave them alone. Stop fucking with it. But this just stop being feminist. Like, that's retarded. Everything about yeah. it is retarded. There's a... Uh, yeah. Look, I don't think there's a... Uh, I think it is unhealthy, the relationship <laughs> that we have with fandom and video games, whatever else now. Yeah. Where, like, it literally is people's identity. But you have to acknowledge that, and when you come into it with your, you know, new wave leftist bullshit and go like, well, actually, why don't we make a trans character or whatever else? It's like, no, just leave leave it alone. It is, like, very crucial to these people. And if you poke the fucking bear, they're going to lose their minds because they have nothing else. 
Oh, yeah. I, I get that. I understand that. I don't know. It was, Gamergate was about that chick who was, like, fucking guys for good reviews, right? But like that was mostly a smokescreen to say get all the SJW shit out. Get of all the SJWs games. out of video games. Get the SJW games. shit out of our video games. Which it's pretty annoying. It was pretty annoying. It's annoying. But the reason it got Wait. so passionate, people are like, why are there death threats? Why are there whatever the fuck else? You know, why is everybody losing their minds? It's like because that's their identity. Wait. That's all that what these white kids have. Go. Yeah, she what? was. She was fucking guys to get to, to get she, her game reviewed well. But how is that any different from advertising in a guitar magazine and then getting well, like great reviews? That's, that's exactly how it's I always never worked. Figured that out. <laughs> that's how it always. That's and nothing that's how, new. Of course, it works like that. Yeah. But they thought that I, they uh, just. You think they you think Gibson's game latest journalism. piece of yeah. shit gets a bad review in yeah. Guitar World? Because like, what did you do? You guys value the reviews? Is that what you're? Uh, yeah. Is that what you're saying? They wanted the game industry to be more. Ethical and I was no, they didn't. No, they wanted whores well, to be punished. They honestly, they, they mostly wanted whores to be punished. Yeah, that's what annoyed that's me the fine. most about it was the Just ethics. Just say that. Yeah. Well, but you can't. You can't. Uh, you could. You can't be on YouTube what and say yeah, it. What drove me nuts was the disingenuous of like, well, I just want these magazines to, uh, you know, identify potential conflicts of interest. I'm like, just say you don't want just SJWs don't want in whores. your video games. Just I get say it. fuck whores. Yeah. Jesus I know that's what you Christ. actually want. I want that as well. Everybody that. wants that. Everybody hates yeah. whores. They're fucking everything up. But the reason it grew to such a fever pitch and you were able to capitalize on it and turn it into a political movement with Breitbart and Milo Yiannopoulos is, again, <laughs> it's basically serving the function of a re- Media no, is currently serving stuff, the function though. of a religion right now. Oh, <laughs> It How? is so because religion is meant to be a community meeting place. Like COVID, tri- it's you're a saying. tribal. Like the Covidians experience. are like worship everything that's about COVID. And Everyone wants to belong to a tribe. The branch Covidians. Everybody wants yeah. to be a part of something. <laughs> Even us, who we say everything is bullshit, we don't want to belong to anything. Like the people who don't We've believe created- that elections are fake. Okay, sure, right? whatever. <laughs> yeah, fine. That's a tribe. <laughs> I mean, the other form of religion is politics. That's the other big one. Oh, right. yeah. There are people oh, who yeah. force themselves down the left or the right. Fuck yeah. That's probably a much, you know, bigger problem. Yeah. Uh, but that's, again, another pseudo religion. And then, you know, religions are being created as a mixture of these different fandoms and political beliefs. And some of it is tying into actual religion, but honestly, it's mostly just being supplanted. The uh, cons- uh, Liberalism versus conservatism, the, those are the biggest churches right now. They're bigger than Catholicism or Christianity. Are you right or are you left? I That's it. About that. You have to sort yourself into one of those two holy fucking houses. Yeah. And why we get in trouble is because I go, I reject both of your gods. I don't like the Republicans and I don't like the Democrats. Oh, you're so liberal, though. You just say that to be like Mr. Center no, guy, fuck, but you're so liberal. Because I just know that they're fucking up because I go, I really care about science. And it seems like you guys on the left care about science. But then you fuck around and lie about COVID. And I don't <laughs> want you to do that. <laughs> and what else? Uh, and, and, and trans, trans shit. shit. And a lot of other <laughs> shit. Yeah. And, and BLM you can't and let the, You can't let the fucking lunatic. Steer the ship like it's a there, yeah. There's no place to go where everyone just goes. Yes, science is really good. Like actual science, it's well, both sides. No, you have to be a different aspects of science. To do that. But the scientists are playing into it and they're being fuckheads. Yeah. Well, some of them like are. Global yeah. warming. Some global warming stuff goes a little too far. Some of it is legitimate. Which well, what do you mean? How do you know? There's. <laughs> I, I, there we go. There we go. What do you mean? What's legitimate? I didn't bring in global warming stats, okay? I, what's, what's, what's legitimate about global it? Global temperatures are rising in that it is creating uh, genuine problems for the ecosystem. But we're but not going to drown in 20 That's years. Not we're not going to drown in 20 yeah. years. What's no. causing it, though? Uh, greenhouse gas emissions. From, How do you know? Because they've studied it now. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you're gonna keep. Thinking. What do you want me to do? I'm I just not want a scientist. You to say I have no idea. I do. I don't I, know. I, I just said I saw on the news that global temperatures are going up. I don't fucking know if they are or not. I wouldn't know if somebody showed me a number. I would go. Yeah, I don't know. I know that emissions are going up, and I've seen you know the various reasons why. Uh-huh. Okay, live and that checked out. Livestock factories, whatever the fuck else. What about clouds? And, what about what about the clowns? Yeah, I mean, shouldn't that be sure doing stuff? Yeah, the clowns should be doing stuff. <laughs> They're white, you know. <laughs> Whatever. You paint your- <laughs> Look, I'm not super. I'm not like a super oh. fucking uh, expert Zealot. on climate oh. change. All right, <laughs> I have other things that are uh, more pressing to me. What do you mean you're not a super expert? 
I just, you know, I'm not. A, what do, What are you a super expert on? I mean, I know nothing about. Climate. Well, you know, you know all this stuff about COVID apparently, and people having. I don't know if we're allowed to talk about that on Ache. this show what? anymore. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because we'll lose our YouTube channel or something. Oh, really? Point okay, is, so we need was... a new human religion. And oh, uh, they've, they've tried that before. I know, I know. they've tried. That's no, it. not working. Uh, Should it be love based? Oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I was talking Didn't I talk about on a previous show that I want to start the, the gamer church? Okay. I think that we should it. we should make gaming into an actual religion. Spelled with a Y? Yeah. There's yeah a bunch gay of Z's. Gay. Oh, oh, no. I thought this would be something else. I think if people are going to be uniting along the idea that human beings are meant to play. Hating women. That's the religion. Yeah, collectively enjoy a game or whatever. Yeah. I think that's a deeply human experience to hang out and play games with your buddies. I think nerds just, like, have a hard time with competition, so they make it all complicated. Huh. Yeah. It's just like any kind of like football, video games. That's true. Sports. All right. Very here's religious. The, here's the, gaming was that problem. Gaming here's is the problem. The, or gamers. Gamers. Here's the voicemails. Hello. I just wanted to let you guys know that I hate women. Okay. <laughs> it's like an alcoholic. Best voicemail we've ever gotten. <laughs> Best one. <laughs> Short and to the point. Uh, okay. Here's one. What's up, Dig and Vito? Today, I believe the biggest problem in the universe is politicized legal persecution. And there's oh. probably a hundred people you could talk about, obviously Trump and lots, but uh, the worst one by far. Uh, did you notice that Andrew Tate's house arrest was dropped and that the whole case against him was going to be dropped? And like, no. as no, much as the douchebag, we that. all hate him, um, like, <laughs> it's looking like he's totally innocent and that it was all bullshit from the beginning. They're making that fucking asshole right. They're making him right. This is how fucked the problem is. That mm. They're validating fucking Andrew Tate, a guy we're all embarrassed to share a side with. <laughs> Fuck. Politicized legal persecution. Yeah, what is going on there? Is he getting the charges dropped? Uh, no. He's no longer on house arrest. He's yeah. on, well, uh, they, did, he's on gonna, bail. Yeah, well, they probably, like, revoke his passport. Or, I mean, right, like, He's not can't, allowed to leave the city. Yeah, it's, it's a, just like a totally normal. Does he have a monitor or something? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. But, but it's like the, wasn't know. there a hearing? Did the hearing happen? That was the hearing. So the hearing determined he remains on house arrest. This is no, he's he's uh, he's no longer on house arrest, but he can't leave the city. Yeah, okay. it's probably like some. That's it. It's like, totally like if you're if you're guilty, you could still be yeah. remanded to like the city. Uh -huh. Like it's. He's, not free in any way. <laughs> no, this, here's my favorite part of this voicemail. I got to hear it again. Mm -hmm. Stop digging and there's probably a hundred people you could talk about, Here obviously Trump and lots, but uh, the worst one by far. Okay. Uh, did you notice that Andrew yeah. Tate's house arrest was dropped? Yes. And that the whole case against him was going to be dropped? Oh, it was <laughs> going to be. <laughs> was going to be, yeah. I haven't heard that yet. Yeah. That hasn't come out yet. No. Uh, well, if it, do if it does, then we'll be the first ones to say you're right. Yeah. <laughs> well, then it has to go to court. Yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, it's, it's a case, just, right? Yeah. This is not a win. I don't know yeah. why guys are saying this is a win. Well, now he gets to go outside. And... I don't. I haven't kept up. I know nothing about it. I don't know. I've got a lot of people told me this today. Really? Uh, okay. People reading headlines. Yeah, he's guilty. Um, all right. Dude, I've seen like a lot of documents of like the shit he was saying to women, and I'm it's like, insane. I think that's pretty clearly fucking illegal. Yeah, mm. it's like, Very. yeah, I tricked this bitch and I took all her money away, and now she can't leave. And I'm like, well, I got guys to mortgage their house and give me money when I was pretending to be a woman. Like, yeah, man, that's uh, <laughs> very that illegal. Like fraud. <laughs> that's very uh, okay. How about uh, oh, Vito on Oh Twitter. God. Uh oh, where'd it go? Oh, God damn it. I installed a new program. Uh, the new biggest problem, I think, is Vito's new bitch move on Twitter to be like, oh, provide a, a source. I need proof of this. I need to see proof that. of this. Actually, it's actually that's a bitch no move that you can provide. You know what the worst part is, is that there is probably a lot of proof that they uh, you know, prove probably. a lot of the things that like, you know, uh, <laughs> like the, the, the probably probably fraud thing has happened, uh, the January 6th bullshit okay. with Donald Trump and all yeah. of the, the feds uh -huh. rating that. The problem is, is a lot of the proof is then hidden by the federal government or oh. fuckers who have all that shit in charge and they yeah. don't release it. 
So we, we, we don't, well, the proof is there. Oh, just, we don't have no, access sure. to it. There we go. We to look it up and it's convenient. Because, That's true. It's you know, very the convenient. DOJ blocks it and shit. DOJ. And we're not allowed to actually, you know, prove people like Vito wrong. And Vito could just sit there all day and going like, I need a source, please. I need a source. Well, you know, that's, that's a good impression. Of, uh, it's pretty good. Comic book guy voice there. Um, thank you for the show, guys. Have a great day. Bye. So to it's, be, your, it's your religion. To be clear, this man <laughs> okay. can make any claims he wants. Right. Because about something being fraudulent or the election obviously being stolen or whatever else. And if I go, well, can I see some evidence? I am in the wrong because yes. the evidence is being hidden by the government. Yes. If okay. you're the government, it's on you to prove that elections are, were fair. Not. <laughs> okay. Why is that crazy? How, how, how would they prove that exactly? How, the bank can prove it. If I go to the bank and say, why do I only have $30 in my account? They go, well, here, you started with uh, 100 and these are who everybody you sent the money to. I go, oh, okay. Should the government give us a list of every single person who voted? Yes. Why Something. do you say the government? It's it's all the states. It's all the yeah, states. The state government. Yeah. You know, they should give us something. Okay. Well, I would like to see something okay. other than nothing. So until until the state gives you some some proof of some sort, which you can't define exactly what you want or how you want it delivered to you, you're uh, allowed to just make claims. And if I ask for evidence <laughs> of the claims. Yeah. I'm in the wrong. Yes, okay. you are in the wrong. Wow. I would like to see something. Well, that's Give the me worst. Show, audit, audit one of these machines and show me that it can't be hacked. If, show me, I'll tell you a, a scenario in which I could hack it. Prove to me that I can't do it. Okay. We're going to sue you. <laughs> okay, so guilty. Fraud then. Wow. Well, why didn't Mike Lindell get to the bottom of it? He had all this time to uncover all this stuff. I don't know. And he just fucked around. He's too busy selling pillows, I guess. Yeah, these <laughs> cyber, did you see the cyber symposium? What's that? Uh, he had this big uh, thing in Vegas where he invited all these cybersecurity experts, and he said, I have uh, undeniable proof the election was stolen. Here's uh -huh. the data. Yeah. And they went through it, and the guy who, like, and he's like, if anyone can prove me wrong, they win a million dollars. Okay. And one guy took it seriously. He's like, well, I guess I'll look at it. He's like, it kind of looks like somebody just opened a Word document typed a bunch of bullshit into it and then like converted it a bunch of times. Mm. Uh, so he went, well, I, I could prove this data is like basically meaningless. And Mike Lindell went, no, 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 you don't win. See, this is what you guys do. So then you he took find him to these court. crackpots. He took him to court. Crackpot. He hangs out with Trump. He's been in the white house. And then the guy took him to court and the court said, yeah, this is clearly fake data. Is Epstein. You owe him a million bucks. Well, I'm just saying. You've had all this time. You've had four fucking years to prove the greatest theft in the history of the American government. Yeah. And uh, instead, you guys dicked around. You let the pillow guy be in charge well, of it. What, what am I going to do? Tell what the pillow guy to, to stop. About it? You and all of them tell Mike Lindell. Listen, Just, man. Hey, you've got to stop upsetting Vito. When you're doing your cyber symposium, he really gets bent out of shape. For Does some no reason. one else have the money to look into this other than the pillow guy? Trump has the money, and they're going to send him to fucking prison because he said it. Well, that's not why, but. <laughs> why are they sending Trump to prison then? A conspiracy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What are you going to do? Do you agree with that? Well, you know, when you convince, Do you think that's fucked, when that they're sending a president to jail? <laughs> I mean, if you break the law, what are you <laughs> going to do? What was the law that he broke? Well, he convinced all those good American. Well, it was the, a specific law that the he... electors, the, uh, the conspiracy to uh, have yeah. the electors deny the election and the... Uh, like how did he, what kind of conspiracy was that? Like, well, he was trying to get Pence to not sign it, right? Well, yeah, he called oh, him yeah. a pussy. Well, you can't he said, do don't sign that document. You're a <laughs> pussy. You're going to jail, actually. Well, it's not that he called him a pussy. It's that he gave the vice president an illegal order to not certify the results of the election. So in, you think that if Pence would have walked in there and said, you know what? I'm not signing this uh, little document. Yeah. You think they would have been like, well, I guess Trump's king then. Nothing we could do about it. Well, it would have interfered with the election process. It would, occur, it would have created chaos. <laughs> okay. Worse look, look, than... I saw what Ashley Babbitt and her terrorist goons were up to right. in January, <laughs> and uh, thank God our heroic Capitol policemen <laughs> put a stop to it before it went you too really far. You really mean that, though. Yeah. I know oh, that yeah. you mean that. No, I do a little bit. 
I'm glad. I'm glad it didn't get too out of hand. I know what you, you and your people are capable of. <laughs> And uh, thankfully, the rule of law <laughs> prevailed. That one, ang- that one Asian Congress. Think about George Floyd and what happened to him. It's a tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tragedy. I want a hundred bucks on that court case. Uh, All right, what do we got? I'm back with another bag based product packaging problem. Uh, another biggest problem when you get the big bag of chips and it has a little notch in it to tear it open. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the notch is at the top of the bag, uh-huh. oriented vertically. Yes. So if you're not careful about it, and you tear you it tear on, it on the side, down, yeah. you've got the whole fucking side of the bag Great open problem. like an envelope in a way that is fucking impossible to reclose without having huge air well, gaps. Well, you know, it, just don't get so chips. excited. And <laughs> <every single laughs> bag no, because the other, the, big top. the other yep. way that they ha- they devised a fix for Depends this. Depends on the plastic, though. Depends on the material. Yeah, they devised a new type of chip bag where if you tear it, it just goes like, whoop. And it tears like yeah. a tiny, mm-hmm. weird baby handhole that yeah. you have to then rip the entire top yep. off. Yeah, have that too. Why do the bags only tear vertically? I don't know. Physics? I don't, can the they just materials? Can they just put the bag in the machine the other way around? So? Well, if somehow that's cost more money or know. something, or it's more. <laughs> Why don't they put two notches so you can tear them both? They yeah. go and yeah, meet, meet in the, the middle, mm-hmm. or one on the side, right? My girlfriend just chops them in half with scissors. Mm. Yeah, well, that's the way to do it. Which is, they should put a little knife. Level. Just tape a little knife to the bag. Yeah, it costs nothing at this point. Put a razor blade in every bag of chips. Okay, last one. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Damn it! Kids love it. Uh, every bag comes with a fun toy. Then, uh, I have never had a fillet of fish, but you persuade me to try one. Mm. So here we go. This is the first bite. Oh, he's doing it. This fillet of fish. Live first ever. bite. I wonder how many times I've changed mm. fish. Let's see. At least um, twice. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. That's all Good we can job, expect. Vito. Good job, Dick. Thank hey. you. Mm-hmm. There's currently a thread over on reddit.com slash biggest problem. People are relaying their filet of fish experiences. Okay. Mm. I invite all biggest problem listeners to take the filet of fish challenge. <laughs> Or are you, are you, just, no. you eat it and you say if it's good or not? Tell us if you like it or not. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. <laughs> I want to Are know. you a big filet of fish guy? I, I'm not like huge, but I'll get them. And, you know, sometimes, sometimes it like comes in spurts. I don't think yeah, I've ever I, had one. I thought I'm a bit up phrasing is on that was totally inappropriate. <laughs> spurts. Yeah. It comes in spurts. Comes in spurts. <laughs> He's got, he's got low. It comes he's, and goes. How's that? He's got low quality porn on the brain. <laughs> exactly. There's a lot of coming. What's the last torrent? I'm a, a big McNugget guy. I like McNuggets. I don't know. I just like, it'll be like a picture of a lady and it'll be like, here's like 300 videos she made. And I just download them and I watch one and I don't watch the rest of them. <laughs> You just like hoarding them like a dragon. Honestly, pornography. Um, I don't know. I think the fo- the thrill of downloading it is more fun than actually watching it. <laughs> That's like weird. Collecting. Uh, okay, here we go. Well, and then get we gotta your do the way in. Get your in. super chats. We'll in. do the way in after the super chats. Yeah, we're gonna be doing super chats all night. Uh, but let's get to it. You've got not, you've got about ten minutes to. Uh, to oh, lose. I know. I know that reference. Dumb username. Oh, we got a bunch of dumb username. Koof is here for 20. Congratulations on 100 episodes. Thanks for continuing the legacy of one of the best podcasts in the universe. Most importantly, to you and everyone with utmost sincerity, thank you all for not killing yourselves. Thank you, Koof. Why do you got to say one of the best? Just say best. Don't say one of the best podcasts. <laughs> Don't say Koof for do- always. Well, it's just <laughs> extra words like to fucking cover your ass. So... Like the, the other podcasts you listen to, don't get upset that you said we're the best. Oh, Pe- thanks, honey. That was one people, of the best. I am jobs happy I've ever to be counted among the best podcasts. I don't need to be the best one. It's not. It's uh, just words. So make them the yeah, be- just lie. Ones. Just say Dick and Vito, you're gods among men. And we love you. Dominic for 199 FKB bros. Rise up. Dumb username for five. Whenever Zerka speaks, I hear Jesse's girl playing in my head. Mm-hmm. Guess the reference by the end of the show and I'll send a $10 super chat. Hmm. Easy. What? Easy. That's Boogie Nights. That's uh, the <laughs> actor is uh, Alfred Molina. He's the crackhead, the rich crackhead with the Asian kid who's okay. walking around lighting off kids, lighting off fireworks. And Jesse's girl. He loves Jesse's girl, and he's just a fucking <laughs> nut job. He's a fucking crackhead. <laughs> wow. Oh, you're right. There you yeah. go. I'm glad we send have the, Sean here. Send the ten bucks. <laughs> ten bucks. <laughs> Let's go. He's based on a. Uh, I think he's a. He was a Lebanese nightclub owner. I think who's fucking oh, wow. super depraved. Like talk about like trafficking Jesus women and shit. Christ. I'm trying to remember. 
fucking that little boy in that movie then? I, I, I mean, that probably, but yeah, that's... I hope not. Huh. Kara Fro moderator of the stars for five dollars. Happy one hundredth. Thank Thanks. you, Kara. Cougar Hughes for two. I love you. Happy one hundred. Thank you. Rich for five. What is with the countdown? I feel like I'm about to watch Wacky Vito's Autism Hour. Okay. It's a fun countdown for you. Mm. Jesus. Busted knuckle with a big ten. <clears throat> it's Eric Joel I. CMOS four oh four four for five. Happy one hundred. Between addiction, asteroids, and women, which poses the biggest problem in episode one hundred? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's always gonna be women. Let's be real. <laughs> Pop quiz for those were big. Those were those were the biggest episode. A hundred problems. Were the, was that the original episode? Oh, oh really? Yeah, those were big. Those Ours problems. were horrible. <laughs> Not like you know. You're saying this episode's problems were this bad. This episode's problems were bad. Yeah, but that's the show. <laughs> it's that we bring in terrible problems and it's funny. Well, no, they're not supposed to be all terrible. Like those are big deals that are up there right now that they that they. Listed. Well, we'll do it next next week. We'll do it on two hundred. Yeah, two hundred. We'll get good problems. Pop quiz for 1999. Tim Chang's yeah. <laughs> for 13.99 Canadian. Great show. Be proud. We are Thanks. proud. Verico. Longbow 40 for five. Get a job, Crimsel. This has been an ongoing debate in the Discord channel, where apparently user Crimsel refuses to get a job. Good for him. Good mm. for him. Don't get a job. Don't get, get another a job. system. Just Do what feels up. right, Crimsel. Gentlemen, sausage for five. Late and celebrated in June. Dumb username for five. New celebrity shame pool. Guess the conservative who turns away from their preaching. My guess is at whatever podcast has been banging the guests. Uh -huh. Diamond G for 555. <laughs> 99 problems, but 100 ain't one. True. Koof is back for two. Thank you for not killing yourselves over blue bowls. What's that? No idea. Pete Tong for two. Koof for two. Thanks for not killing yourselves. Did you know that Pete Townsend... Uh, Subscribe to a child porn site, Sean. They cleared him of of any wrongdoing in that. Oh, well, so Sean did know yeah, about it. Yeah, the government did. The, I, mean, well, no, I mean, it was can't invest arrest Pete it was investigated. Yeah, but did you hear his reasons? Vito told this to me on the bonus episode. Was Dick it lost, something? Was he Dick was he doing mind. research or something he like he that? Was doing was research it, yeah. for his own abuse. That he was abused as a kid, and he was writing a, a biography. Yeah, I thought he was abused as a kid, but think about yeah. the experience more. He decided to buy child pornography. What did he have? I don't. Card. I don't know what he had exactly. Paul, well, he, he was lo he, he logged into a website credit credit card. with his credit no, but was card. It, it, was it a was it a child porn website site? Yes. or was it like some? Oh, okay. It yeah, was that's like one hundred percent a child porn website. No shit. Can you yeah. imagine? Anybody else getting cleared of that? <laughs> well, yeah, Other I mean, than he, like a world yeah, famous but rock famous, star. Only famous people are hot, you know, after famous Jimmy people Seville, are connected there's people. There's no way they're yeah. right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Well, he came like, much after, because Townsend was a while ago, right? Uh, it yeah, was, yeah, it was uh, at least more than 10 years ago. Oh, more. Yeah. But Seville was older than that, I thought. Uh, he was, he? no, he was, well, oh, no, he was rumored decades. But yeah. like, no, 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 but it I all came, it came, all out, came to yeah. light. Uh, I want to say like 2015, 20, 2012, 2015, something like that. Mm. I remember there was an interview with John Lydon, who's Johnny Rotten from the Sex Pistols, yeah. who just straight up said it. Like, well, and, 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 and every, yeah, and every, this was like in the late, late 70s. With or with Jimmy Seville? No, 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 Jimmy Seville. And, uh, and like the, the, uh, the interviewer BBC was like, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's not. He's like, oh, I'll show. He's like, oh, I'll, I'll, you go to. The, I'll show you proof. Like, I'll show, he was just not backing down at all. But wow. he was like, hey, no, no, we could disavow. Like, it was. Well, yeah, because he was like, he didn't beloved. give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, he was, was like, but he was a fucking horrific fucking pre pedophile. predator, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah. his thing is yeah. that they didn't find out until after he was dead. So the yep. only photos they have they covered of him it up are him with a big cigar going. Ah! Like, they don't have the one photo of him looking sad and caught. Oh, like, yeah. He can't put it in an article about the guy uh, with him looking. Oh, he was lauded for his humanitarian efforts yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Anyone oh, yeah. who's a humanitarian is probably Ooh, hiding something. Something's going on. Yeah. What do you feel guilty about? Exactly. Brett's man for two. Thanks for 100 hysterical shows. You guys are the best. Thanks. Jay by Hop for five. Please, Maddox for episode 100. You know, we thought about it, but <laughs> yeah, I really I reached out. To, but why don't you come in and yeah. do the show where you're not making any money? Red for two says, "I love Japan. What a great country!" Jesus Christ, man, I'm not reading that. Hold the truth <laughs> hostage for two. <laughs> Biggest problem in the universe: Can half breed people speak the whole truth? Hmm. Excellent question. Hmm. Oh, that's hold the truth hostage. I love that guy. He came in on the. Uh, the call-in episode. Did he have any more race bombs? Like, well, that? he's an African American gentleman, so he's all about. Oh, so he can say whatever he wants. He can say whatever he wants. First of all, yeah. and he's all about getting the truth, and that's what we care okay. about here on the show. Chris Schofield for five. When is he should put 
uh, black in your name there, yeah. buddy. That would help. They should uh, have a little like icon to represent your race, so you know, when you get a pass. <laughs> Chris Schofield for five. Verified. When is Zerka Verified. coming in on as a guest on Biggest Problem? Uh, not for a while. I don't... How did? How, how do you think things with Zerka are now after the? Uh... You mean between me and yeah, Zerka? Yeah, between you and Zerka. Do you think it's great? It's fine. Yeah, he doesn't care. He got a lot of fire. He, a, he got he a lot fun. of fire for being on your show. Well, from Reddit. Okay. Oh, you mean because of the whole pedophile thing? That well, because he, he said, what's wrong with pedophiles? And then I don't really know where he was going with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I couldn't. And then, he, and then, and then whenever, and then he went, oh, look, I just stopped you guys in your tracks. And I'm like, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I don't know if that means you won some sort of uh, debate yeah, tactic. Okay. The locks for five. Vito Waldenberg raking in the super chat money, just replaying the intro on YouTube. Uh, uh, and then try to get me with a be fair to your audience, man. Don't be like the juice. Nice the try, juice? locks. Like OJ? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't be like the juice. I can't. I can't make that joke anymore. Longbow forty for two. Get a job, Crimson. You worthless bum. Petong for two. Smooches. Warren for two. You should have gotten Maddox's sister. Mm. JJ for two. That tuba at the start had me scared that it was Boogie as the guest. <laughs> Jazz fan 22 for five. Yes, John is here. This is the best episode of the universe. John riffs for five. Let's hope this episode doesn't get deleted. Ah, very, good. <laughs> very good. Seth B for five. Congratulations on 100 episodes of Biggest Problem in the Universe. Cannot wait for the lawsuit remake. It's coming. You think Eric July is going to su uh, sue us? To me, you keep telling people to pirate his comic. You got to pirate the fuck out of that comic. That's pirate sucks. the comic. It sucks. Don't do it. Don't buy, sh don't buy shitty art. Mm. Don't buy shitty art. That's your protest. Bucks. Stealing it is your protest. Thirty-five bucks for God. bad art. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to steal it. That's a lot. For, this it. just seems like a lot for a comic book to me. Pirating isn't theft. It still exists in every possible way. Mm. That's very true. I see. Cool for five. Shion. Thank you, Sean, for coming in today. And also for not killing yourself. Thank you for having Clap, me. Clap trapped the destroyer for five. Smooches for Sean is already being the best guest. We agree. Utah-based Amer Armenian for two. Biggest problem, 99 episodes without an audio engineer. No. That is a pretty big problem. Yeah. Should have brought that one in, honestly. I don't, I, I don't know. This one I ain't going to sound it. any different. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> the Dick, problem. Dick, you got a drum roll for me? <laughs> yeah, sure. Because King N641994 for $100 on the board. Can we What's get a that? congratulations and a call to prayer for your 100th episode? Please send Graf that pedo shirt with an anime style. It would suit him very yeah. well. <laughs> Oh, oh, we really do. <laughs> hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. The new prize. I've heard about this. Bugs. Imam Masterzin, what has happened with your trip to Greece to the Holy Land? Oh. <laughs> there wasn't any Pokemon there. No I Pokemon in the Holy Land. What's been going in, on in Pokemon news lately? Uh, I don't know, man. I've been keeping up on Lorcana, the 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 uh, it's, Lorcana. it's the Disney version. Disney of has no Pokemon ripoff. Disney off. has Pokemon card game called Lorcana. <laughs> Gen Con convention right now, fans line up for rare Mickey Mouse promo card. Oh no! <laughs> it's like a two hundred dollar Mickey Mouse card. Two hundred dollar Mickey Mouse. Two hundred dollar V Max Mickey Mouse. It's plug into a uh, Kingdom Heart game. Yes. Can have. Disney all day, every day, can play Disney yes. versus Pokemon, special crossover card game. My god. Mickey, Mickey, Goofy, Mickey versus Pikachu. Oh my. Other mouse, all mouse type Pokemon. Ratata. <laughs> Ratata. Other, other Pikachu. Other Pikachu. Donald Duck. <laughs> Versailles Duck. Wow. This reminds me, I watch Detective Pokemon. Detective Pokemon. On plane. On plane. Amazing movie. Yes. I did not even see <laughs> for a second that Pikachu was Ryan Reynolds, father of a of a, in, a black guy, I think. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it turned out Pikachu can talk to a little boy and can understand because Mewtwo make a special spell that put a man brain in a Pokemon. Most okay. amazing fucking twist I <laughs> ever seen in a movie. More than the original Sixth Sense and Signs are walled. The most amazing twist most amazing I twist. ever seen in a Pokemon in Hollywood history. I said in the middle of night on plane flying over the ocean. No fucking way. This is Ryan Reynolds. Is the dad of this little Indian boy? First of all, major fucking dis major uh, distraction. What is it called? 
Uh, plot plot twist? What? Plot twist, yes, but the version? fake out. Fake out. Oh, red oh, herring. Red herring. Yes. No way did I ever think <laughs> Ryan Reynolds full white would come out and say I'm your dad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I'm a cop in Pokemon Town. <laughs> I have not five seen Five Alas out of five for five Detective Alas. Pikachu. Okay. Five thousand virgins for Detective Pikachu. Do you that shit every episode? 72, 72 out of 72. 72. Uh. Yeah, well, we don't do it anymore because people got bored of it. Oh, really? But for a hundred you know, bucks. That was wild. Bugs. Detective Pikachu is apparently yes. a great movie. Ryan Reynolds is, it turned out, the reason why Pikachu could talk and is the he boy could understand an Indian guy? No, he was Ryan Reynolds, the dad, got put inside, his brain got inside. put inside the Pikachu, like, for safekeeping. Okay. Because the dad got killed. And that oh. wasn't revealed until the end when Mewtwo revealed his big spell to cram everybody's brains inside, to merge them with the Pokemon, which was Pokemon. weird and furry. Yeah. Um, Did Pikachu know he used to be a man? No, he got amnesia. Oh. This is a, it's a, good, good, a good movie. It was great. Okay. Yeah. Detective Pikachu. There you go. I'll check it out. Rex Sexton for two. Nice Jerry curl to Sean. Oh, Happy is my hair 100. My hair's getting long, huh? <laughs> is it? Is it something curly? Uh, that's Well, it's, it's looking good. Yeah. Oh, I got to keep an eye on the chat because we're going to miss. No, you know what? It's your job to if we miss any TBFs. Let's put it that way. Cy no, Chris. they have to put it in a super chat. If yeah, I you have to one. super chat if we miss it. Cy Chris for two. Awesome 100 episodes. Sean. Is greatest of all time. Longbow for two. Get a job, Crimson. You welfare queen. Don't get a Kisses job. Kisses for Sean. Mr. Cool Ice is here for a big fifty dollars. Thank you, Sean, for blessing our presence with your beauty. Holy Smooches. shit! Smooches. Thank you, Mr. Bucks. Cool Ice. Small math advisory for five. Vito, look up Remind in Souls. They will walk you through what souls you need. Twenty to fifty dollar options. Eases any pain and aligns your bones. What size are your feet? Thirteen. People could just send in stuff for you to wear. No, I don't want random uh, fucking shoot. Although people have stopped sending wigs, which seems like a mistake. That was a good. Yeah, bit. that was a good. Mm, bit. Yeah, send in more wigs. Come on, we got a thing going there. Actually, I'll take. I'll take out my. Uh, is you this could my send in a wig? Ken wig. You could send in. Yeah, no, especially that's a regular now. like MacGyver wig. I think the MacGyver wig looked good. No, I think so. Uh, let's see. ASE presents for ten dollars. Congratulations on one hundred. Sorry, your store got DMCA by Eric by July. The evil, the wicked Eric July. <laughs> he even said that uh, it wasn't a uh, trademark violation, but it was just against Twitter's terms of service. Yeah, he's so a guy oh. who's a libertarian, anarcho-capitalist. He's all yeah, 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 sure. Years, I'm libertarian. I'm libertarian. But unless I'm anarcho-capitalist. Yeah. Uh, the, I'm, you're violating the terms of service, yeah. so I'm going to yeah. flag that. It's That's not very libertarian. He's like, well, it's against Twitter's terms of service. And I'm like, I thought you were a big, like, a free speech guy. Yeah. Care about what are you talking about? Mm. That's Looking what I good. got hit for, God damn it! I look good in this wig. Uh, where are we at? Let's see. Exodus for 10. Look like, it looks like Bruce Valanche. I know, right? <laughs> 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 I'm going to be on Hollywood Squares pretty soon. Do you have a Bruce Valanche impression? I couldn't remember. What did that guy sound like? That's a great Bruce Valanche impression. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he have kind of like a whiny voice? Yes. Extremely gay, extremely oh, whiny. Oh, God. Oh, oh golly. Exodus for 10. Happy 100th, dick. Go fuck yourself. Uh, not as Jewish, cucked. though. Yeah, I immediately go to Jewish with it. Sean Smooch's best wishes on your ass farm yield. Thank you. Uh, Straight beans for two ninety nine. Australian. Did Eric use empty boxes to fill his warehouse? <laughs> See, I was mad that we don't get to watch the warehouse video because we had to talk about the false flagging. You can watch it. Uh, we got time. We can stretch this out a little bit. Yeah, you want to see Eric? got nowhere. Eric July's warehouse. Go to the uh, go to the Ripiverse YouTube. Yeah, you can find it easy. Okay, Ripiverse. YouTube. YouTube. Is it just stacked with boxes? Uh, no, it's just empty shelves. Mm. And then he made a video oh, yelling all, at us gone. for me. Did you see he actually mentioned us in his video today no. saying that we're fucking assholes for telling him that he broke DMCA? Well, apparently he, he mentions us specifically. He's got to stop talking about you guys. I don't know when he's going to learn that. No, because no, I'll just ramp. I'm at like a two. Uh, right I, now. No, I know. Yeah, I I'll know ramp it up big time. I know. Okay, warehouse 2.0 fly through, top left. Uh, oh, yeah. the most recent, yeah. <laughs> so Eric July, again, is a man who loves his warehouse. We know this. Yeah. He's made multiple videos about how great his warehouse is. Uh-huh. Uh, we, I assumed at some point he would stop 
talking about the warehouse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instead of stopping, he has made a luxurious drone footage <laughs> video. Oh, did, he, did he buy a warehouse? He, he rent, he's renting yeah. a warehouse. Like, uh, a do you know that he didn't buy it? I don't know if he bought it. The point is that me and Dick have been saying you only have three products a year right now. You yeah. probably don't need an entire shipping warehouse. Right. You could use a fulfillment company and save a lot of money. He threw a As a man fit. who continues to claim yeah. to be a paragon of business, it seems like you are throwing money away constantly. Yeah. Uh, but he has the money to produce this loving drone <laughs> footage video. It's not showing us the rip of Earth's warehouse. It's not what was said. It's who said it is what set him off. He's like, it's he's you acting guys. like it's table to farm produce. Yeah. Like, here's yeah. a <laughs> table to farm things <laughs> the side of our Mexicans the table. Yeah. picking the cu- right. cucumbers right. that end up on your salad. Here's right. my bassist doing accounting in my warehouse. <sighs> All right, Somebody was like, I'm so glad for their transparency. And I'm like, the transparency of how they're stacking the boxes in the where? What are you talking about? Uh, okay, here, here we go. It's got good music, at least. Welcome to the fantastic Ripiverse warehouse. Now, just... Now, do you notice anything peculiar about all these shelves? <laughs> That's what strikes me. Mm. <laughs> all empty. It looks like he's in a all Home Depot. <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah. These shelves like, aren't cheap either. Yeah. These are like oh, $200,000 to install. And he's like, got, got like at least one forklift. I don't know if he's got two. Like, at some point, it might be the same one in some creative editing. Let's count the fuck ups. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, a uh, lot uh. of equipment in here. I just think if you made one comic that signing, made money, fucking signing comics. Yeah. What a what a. Well, he's got to sign comics, but does he need eight to, hours a day? Does he so, need a giant section of his warehouse for the comic signing corner? He could probably he do that in like, an office. Yeah. Does right. he need it in the drone footage? Well. Okay. Let me get into position while I'm signing. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, hello. I didn't see you there. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to my warehouse. That's this whole video. <laughs> yeah. is all the employees have been told to like. Okay, take this box from this shelf and put it up on this one because it'll look cool. It's I've the signed, Jurassic Park video. Yeah, I've signed a lot of books. Uh, I've never stacked them in this way to sign them. Yeah, that's a set dresser right. on there. You know, yeah. Yeah. I stacked them up, yeah. signed, put it over look here. Look how many sign. there are, though. You don't spread them out lovingly, evenly distanced right. to, come to cover the like entire face. Like salami on a it. tray. Like. Yeah. <laughs> You want to make a charcuterie yeah. spread of your book? Uh, okay. Let's, Let's see. see. Here. Nice little three. His wife pops there. out of the trash can All and right. asks w- why her ad isn't in the <laughs> like Oscar why the Grouch. Why is my ad not in Isom too? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is my jewelry out of this one? Uh, oh, great bird! It seems like a big waste of money. I feel. <laughs> And then these guys, I guess, are taking books he already signed and then again laid out perfectly on a table and are putting them in boxes for later. Or are they setting them up for him to sign? Why is there a video in the background? There's a video of Eric 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 (laughs) Is that the only thing you're allowed to watch in the warehouse is Eric July's own videos? <laughs> oh, they have Don't one time. Let me loop. put out some entertainment for you. It's me ranting about how Marvel is woke. <laughs> and we'll just watch that for a while. All right. And then when cool. it runs out, the VCR kicks in and it rewinds like at the doctor's office in <laughs> 1994. Okay. Let's see this. Nice little slow-mo. That guy put a thing in a box. He's wearing gloves. Okay. Very professional. Mm-hmm. Go around him again for no reason. <laughs> In case you didn't get it the first fucking time. Fucking piloting this thing. Hey, they, they got a whole choreography here. They got a, you need time to get everybody. Okay, in the here's position. forklift number one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, there was a forklift earlier. I think it was. Let's yeah, see. real quick. Uh, you can see it. That's yeah, see it against the right there. Really? Yeah. You like, is that it. a lift or is that a that one? Where? Right there, yeah, yeah, motherfucker. It's right there in, in the front middle. of the orange. Yeah. Oh my God! You're yeah. right. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but that one might go. It might go around. It the might corner. have backed up and it gone might, around. The, yeah. How many forklifts? Does I don't this know how many forklifts he has. It I, might just be the one. It might. I don't know because it might have gone turned around and gone out the other way. Time to get around the corner. So, so yeah. he's and paying somebody who's so forklift certified that they spun it around on command. <laughs> well, on I mean, action you know. and whipped it around the corner. Yeah, it might be cre- It might be creative. Editing. What's in the? What is this like? Nineteen twelve? What was that? Nineteen seventeen? What was that movie with no cuts in it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 19, yeah. Uh, okay. What does he? What does that forklift have? It's like a, I think I can't. It has it's a bunch got, of. That's all the charity the money that Eric stole from <laughs> charity. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, he's got a pretty big shrink wrap thing. Yeah, he's got a shrink wrap palette on the front or something. Now, it's possible that one for is it going around? The fuck is glowing right Bro, there? Bro, that's a. What oh, was that it? That could be. It might be the same one. I'm not sure. That's just like a fun, what is that? silly light that you like to have on your. Uh, it's, a jizz, it's like superheated it's metal. Fuentes like his jizz detector that so the employees like to jack off on the comics so much. Mm-hmm. So they yeah. had to install this to They're make so sure excited. they got it right. Filtered it out. I am gonna. I'm gonna hope he only has one one forklift for this title. It's not a huge warehouse. <laughs> that's a different color. Uh, is it both driver and materials? Oh, was a white guy driving really? it before? I think so. Or was there anybody over there? Was it was it empty? I can't really see from here. Right there. It does kind of look like a white guy. That's, like, that's a white guy, and that is a clear shrink a clear wrap. Shrink thing wrap on the yeah, yeah. He's got two forklifts. And now, what's the other guy got? Okay, keep your eye on. Keep your mind's eye on that forklift. <laughs> yeah, the man's got <laughs> still, there, still there. Yeah, still there. Right? Oh, still there. Oh, but it's getting. It's still it's moving. Oh. It's still moving. Now we're going to do a little dosey dough. See, that was a creative cut, though, because there's yeah. no way it could have got down that corner that quickly. Yeah, I think you might be right. Mm. Let's see. But mm. there is, what, is there something blue on the front of it or not? Go to the. Yeah. No. Oh, no it's the same one. Okay. All my right. bad. My bad. One forklift. One. Uh, 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 so this is a Hyundai forklift? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I guess. A nice one. Okay, here's so here's all the, all the posters. All these posters. Uh, a bunch of empty uh, space above and below. If you want everyone to know that you, uh. Are winning the culture war? Put up an uh, ISON poster. Yeah, Put up that's a lot of. That's a big fucking place, man. For the, yeah, paying these people to ten thousand square feet. Yeah, that seems 80 like eighty employees. Somebody suggested one hundred fifty k a year. I think it would even be more than that. Yeah. I mean, he's got to be have all his friends doing it, right? I his mean, basis like, is his uh, his finance financial. Yeah, his officer. basis for his bands, the oh. official finance officer. <laughs> yeah. of his, yeah, it makes sense. Well, maybe the guy's got a background in finance maybe he does. and he's a bassist oh, yeah. on the side. Who knows? Well, yeah. yeah. He's clearly good at his job. But he does have more equipment. That's in addition to the forklift. He's got that big blue guy. Oh, man. I'm so hot watching this bitch wrap up fucking silverware <laughs> or whatever she's doing over They've here. We've all got a station. Uh, there's a scissor lift. Is that what that is? I think that's what you call Two that. scissor yeah. lifts? Oh, shit. You're right. Yeah. Oh, got my God. Fun. And that's the question is, like, how often are you pulling boxes down that you need that much fucking shit? Why'd you put the boxes think, all the way on the top? Yeah, you could have just, just put them on a lower shelf. Right. You have all these empty shelves anyway. Well, it's because they sold out all this stuff on the empty sh- on well, the lower they, shelves. And like. they needed the shot of the thing going up yeah. and down. Come on. It's got to be dynamic. I mean, obviously, they got everybody in to make this video, knowing that the thing, you know, yeah. I mean, like, there's uh, nobody's this busy all day at this. It can't be. Okay, now right here, he's going to fly through these shelves. These shelves are completely empty, right? This shot yeah, coming yeah. up. If you just play, like, pause, like, right. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Wait, wait, that thing. Did it stop, Sean? No, yeah, it's back. It's still back. Okay. Right here. It's like, dude, there's nothing on nothing. this. Look nothing. at all that empty <laughs> fucking space. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, one, he only has. And again, once he sells the comics, they're not on the shelf anymore. So it's just the shelves are gonna be empty. Then he might have, you know, some back well, then stock. Then there's Yaira. <laughs> Yaira's coming out. Yaira. What the hell's that? It's his, his next, next comic. shitty comic. Oh, a whole different line. A whole yeah, different spinoff of that blonde girl. Oh, okay. Th- and then the the Slamico sisters are coming in with Alpha Core. Yeah. Well, the sis, the Slamico sisters are doing Yaira. The Slamico sisters are doing Yaira. QAnon weirdo Chuck Dixon is doing uh, Alpha Core. Alpha Core. He did create Bane at one point. Hmm. We like Bane. <sighs> yeah. Actually, I never really liked like. Like it's so fucking hard. To- <laughs> It's so fucking hard to come up with any of this shit. Oh, I'm fucking fingernail man. Oh, <laughs> wow. Look at me. The original version of Bane was actually really boring. He's just like a blonde guy. I hated Nightfall. That's the one where Batman gets his back broken. Oh, yeah. It's not interesting. Hmm. I didn't read that shit. Good. Anyway, that is the the, the warehouse for the Ripperverse. Uh, we're working on the Super Killer Warehouse. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going to be twice as big Ooh. and uh, twice as many empty shelves. Ooh. <laughs> Four times as many empty shelves Ooh. and twice as many scissor lifts because my employees need to go up and down all fucking day long. Mm. He only needs like one lift. Time. Why does he have multiple lifts? Anyway. An idiot. Dicky for five says fish stick. Nah, fish brick and mortar sauce. Mm-hmm. Yes, it was good. Yeah, I like mm-hmm. that filet of fish. Mm-hmm. Pop quiz for two. Fitness tape. Fitness tip. No pain, no gain. 
Jim Satala for ten. Y'all need to go all in on the bit. Open a pet o grooming business. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that w- is good. No pain. Out. Does Nike have a shirt that's or No Fear have a shirt that says ca- calories in, calories out? I don't think that so. would be a good one. Mm. Dumb username for five. Vito, stop telling me how do you lose weight. I know how to lose weight. Also, Vito, why am I not losing weight? <laughs> Are you confused why you're not losing weight? I think weight? I am losing weight. We lost four pounds in the last one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we got to remember the fi- – if anybody in chat remembers the figures from the last weigh-in, get, re- get, oh, that's get ready point. to tell me I don't remember any of that. You should have a little thing on the site that, like, writes down what the weigh-ins were. Dennis Dillweight for five. Five Dara for Sean Cameo. Thank you. Thank Utah you. based Armenian for two. Big problem. Calories in, calories out. Mm. Weep Trash 10. Was great catching Vito on Nick's show yesterday. Must have been refreshing. Not to be the most neurotic person on stream for once. Lofty Pixels is mm. insane. Something is wrong with that boy. Mm. Yeah, uh, I watched that stream. It was bizarre. <laughs> wait, 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 who? Twi- what? Lofty Pixels. This, this guy. Yeah. Weird kid. He threw a big fit when I made fun of him last stream. He got off stream and like angrily edited oh, his video of me together. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll show you. How, this is how Nick's thing or Dick is. Last yeah. night on Nick's stream, he he quit because he said we were all gaslighting him, and we're like, no, we just think you're fucking crazy. And then he came back, and uh, it was kind of like a weird, like Lofty, calm down, it's okay, you're just fucking nuts. It was a good show. And he asked Destiny, he's like, hey, uh, Destiny, uh, hey, buddy, uh, y- do you want to stream with me right now? I'm on Nick Rikita's stream, but I'll hop off if you want to stream with yeah. me. Yeah, and Lofty People is like making fun of him. And he's like, oh, followers. yeah, so what, that's cringe that I asked to get on a podcast? Well, I asked uh, Elon Musk to follow me. That didn't work. You tried to get him to listen to the podcast. Yeah. David Gomez for 10, biggest problem in the universe is perpetually online. F slurs on the Colin show, forgetting it's a comedy show, and just calling in to call out Vito on some social political issue we mentioned three months ago. <laughs> TBF yeah. uh, Call in show number three now available On your podcast feeds to everyone who's been complaining uh, We have the audio version available For you now Berserker Bauer for two What the fuck is wrong with you celebrating A tie oh shut up I think it's I like the symmetry Of it Dick can I get There's a, nothing symmetrical about 107 or No yeah. Can I get a little drum roll dick Cause Psychonautical 89 For a hundred dollars Happy 100 from Lawnmower Man. You bet I'm sending 100 smackaroos for Shajan. It was awesome seeing you all at Philly for another 100, 100, 100 episodes. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Thank you. You guys are making money tonight. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll take yeah. you out for dinner sometime. Uh, Moogie Amagi for five. Glad to see Sean making on. Vito, good job last night. Caught a bit of it. Happy 100. Thank you, Moogie. Dot Executables is here. Five dollars. I some sucks ass. <laughs> I've been reading comics <laughs> for I love that term. Years. <laughs> that sucks ass. How is it? Sucks ass. This is one of the worst. It sucks. Overhyped garbage comics. I read it when it came out. Ask for your money back. And if he doesn't give you your money back, charge it back. No. I'm not satisfied. <laughs> there's no story in this comic. I'm, I was sold a story with, with an illustration, and there's no story. I, mm-hmm. I demand my fucking money back. Well, you know, chargebacks, he had a whole thing with PayPal where he's like, why is PayPal holding on to my money? They're, they're politically biased against me. And I'm like, no, they have a policy that if you do pre-orders, you have to deliver the item within 20 days or they yeah. hold the money. <clears throat> yeah. Banking, specifically banking because has a lot of regulations. Of fucking yeah. co- well, specifically because of chargebacks, because otherwise, wow. if you don't deliver the comic, PayPal has to uh, refund all those people. CC for five. Thank you, Dick, Sean, and Vito. Thank you for giving this show a second life. Happy 100. Well, thank you, CC. Rex Sexton for five. For my birthday, my girlfriend drove me 12 hours round trip to Santa oh. Fe, gave me a tray of snacks, whiskey, and also roadhead while I while yelled driving? left and oh. right. Oh, <laughs> That's pretty good. John Riffs for five. Silver lining, ISOM number two means ISOM number two edited edition coming soon. All right. Moving on the Discord, the edited edition has been going around. A complete new take on the plot events of ISOM. <laughs> Uh, I forget who created the John created John that. Riffs did, right, yeah. Well, John's been putting that together. Uh, Enjoy. Lane Steel for two. Vote up the YouTube generation. <laughs> uh-huh. Lonely Wolf Studios for a big 10. Rules for thee, not for me. Yellow Flash, who Eric is friends with, sent a pirated movie version oh! of the Barbie movie <laughs> to EVS and everyone in that group. They oh! don't care about piracy. Only their bottom line. Really? So, Yellow um, Flash, the fat retard who's obsessed with pedophiles, I think because he might be a pedophile. All right, well. He might be. <laughs> he he might, might I haven't be. heard him deny it. <laughs> I mean, who else would be so obsessed with pedophiles other than a pedophile? 
It is true. They don't like other pedophiles that, catching their shine. Exactly. That's the, exactly. I'm not worried. I'm not in competition with other pedophiles. Right. So I'm not like, I don't like them, but I'm not obsessed right. with them. Right. I'm I think obs- a guy who won't show his face on stream, you go, what's he got to hide? Pedophilia. Maybe that we would cross-reference it with the sex offender database. <laughs> exactly. And Some little kid something. might look over, their sh- over someone's shoulder in the background and see him and go, that's the guy that molested me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Call the cops. I can't trust that. So he's a pirater, too, And huh? he's pirating, and they're all pirating, and they're all doing their reviews based on pirated material. And they don't care about their buddies false flagging. Right, mm-hmm. but their buddy is uh, like, well, you all... can't steal my stuff. Well, it's all, you know, they're... You pat my back, I'll watch you pat that little kid's back. Oh, boy. That's right. their motto. Um... <laughs> Mm. Uh, old cum mm. ears strikes again. <laughs> old cum brain. His ears packed full of cum. It's a lot of cum. Can't in those fucking ears. listen because he's got so much cum in both of his ears. <laughs> Yellow flash. Even that guy did not hit it off. <laughs> fucking cum brain. See, ear, nose, and throat guy. He got, every stream he's on, he makes the same joke. Oh, they should go to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> he did try Anybody to that, that he does, yeah, the suicide because you can do suicide in Canada. Yeah, so yeah, every yeah. fucking every fucking person that he doesn't, well, they should go to Canada. Yeah, <laughs> you, know? you gotta have. Yeah. <laughs> I would like these guys uh, more if they were actually funny. I think that's what offends me the most is the the destruction of humor. Bad art. Yeah, bad mm-hmm. art. Mm-hmm. Darvis for 12 says, Sean is so cool. Wow. Mr. Abstruse. <laughs> let, me do a, let me do a poll. Wait, do you think it's... Po- has Yellow Flash oh, denied God. that he's a pedophile? Oh, yes or no? Let me do a... Oh, ha- <laughs> Why do I feel like this is just going to start a Yellow problem? Yellow Flash you knew what you were in for. denied <laughs> that he's a... Uh, PDF. P- uh, I'm going to say, yeah, PD- PDF. Yes or no? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes or no? There okay. You there okay. you go. This is Dick's poll. If he hasn't denied it, then <laughs> <laughs> it's a reasonable question. We're just asking questions, folks. That's mm-hmm. all we can do here, Mister Abstruse for ten. Can I get a big shout out to my buddy Crimson? Please berate him publicly to pressure him into getting a job and stop being a bum. Hi, Sean Crimson. Hi. Get a job. Longbow 40 for two. Get a job, Crimson. Smooch is Sean. Antagonist for two. You were right, Vito. Those sig holders are gay as fuck. What sig holders was I talking about? I don't know. You'd have to remind Long me. Long ones? Yeah, yeah maybe. maybe. Plastic Long, ones or whatever, plastic probably. Plastic ones? Wet yeah. bandit for five. Har, har, har. Sean in the house. Mm-hmm. Antagonist for two Dang says day. you were right. Dumb username for five. Dick, <laughs> all the Yakuza games, you can skip the cutscenes. If you avoid the main missions, the game is just wandering Shinjuku, fighting and drinking. You would maybe like those uh, Yakuza games. Yeah. They're I don't want to have to skip the cutscenes, though. Because then yeah. I feel like I'm missing something. Like, it should just skip I think the ones where I can read it and then press a button to go to the next paragraph. You should have to press a button to listen to the story. Sure. Like, it should give you, like... Press X now to listen to some story. Mm. No. Mm. No thanks. Derpify for 10. Biggest problem in the universe is Dr. Kevin's melanotan 2 misinformation. Safe peptide promoting melanin production to prevent sunburn plus melanoma. Mm. Requires UV exposure to tan. Okay, you guys weren't here for the call-in episode. Yeah. There is a drug called melanotan. I don't know if it was named ironically. That can turn Caucasian people into black people by darkening their skin pigment and, as it says, promoting melanin production, uh, which will help prevent sunburn and melanoma. Side effects are rock-hard erections and fat loss promotion. Mm. That's not true, though, is it? It darkens your skin. It's a way that people are tanning without having to tan, is that you... But that's not real. Melanin... The drug? Yeah. It's real. How is it? How is it darkening? There's no drug that darkens your skin. It's promoting a melanin production, apparently. I think this is a uh, Doctor Kevin ad. brought I it. I heard in. about it. Doctor Kevin, he's, he's a, a doctor. nuclear <laughs> physicist. Yeah, well, he knows nothing about <laughs> absolutely nothing about this. And from the sound of it, I trust his nuclear credentials less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, well, that's, we'll a, see. that's a. <laughs> That's the first way you catch these motherfuckers, too. It's like, oh, hey, here's Dr. Blah, blah, blah. He's a fucking chiropractor. You want to talk about it? It's like, you fucking piece of shit. Does he like alpha brain uh, Alex Jones' redditing medicine, too? Does he aware aware of that? Let's see this. Melanotan is what it's called. Uh, Yeah, you found it. 
WebMD is okay. it's a lab man. Fake tan and melatonin injections. Why did you look up Can't melanotan you? hoax? <laughs> That's a stupid thing to look up. <laughs> it's a real thing, see? <laughs> oh, why are injections? Melanotan People are inhaling. And why is it so dangerous? Yeah, okay, why is it dangerous? Instagram. Inhaling tanning nails. Injectables and illegal fake tan. The truth about melanotan. The dangerous ingredient being promoted online. Man's tanning uh, injection disaster. <laughs> Doctors are calling me idiot. <laughs> An idiot. Uh, a shocking investigation is revealed. Illegal tanning. Dozens of, yeah. yeah I'm sure it's dozens ingredient. of social media influencers are promoting dangerous tanning products containing a banned ingredient. Melanotan 2, an artificial hormone, can increase the production of melanin, the pigment that darkens skin. It sounds dangerous to me. <laughs> I don't know. Let's take it shot what? by a cop. I know, right? Yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> why would you do that? No, the but look. Unlicensed it, drug is dangerous. You gotta go fucking Sammy Sosa, oh, dude. Man, come on. This isn't real. I, uh, th that might be a different. Well, that, scroll down no, more. No, no. Is that's, that the actual picture? No, I'm sure that's a fucking advertisement. I think you know, like it's like here's here's what was provided for it because you know it's yeah. like obviously it keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Live from leads. Find more pictures. I don't need <laughs> words. <laughs> this How is about all that? just these that are all just stock photos. Yeah, right, right. Uh, says the only safe tan is fake tan. That's like spray tan that or is. something. Yeah. yeah it was, if you if you already did it, you should stop. Well, well, apparently, you can get cancer know. from it. Well, all right, what, maybe it's maybe real. I'll do it. I think it is real. I think it's a banned ingredient. Yeah, apparently. it just probably has side effects yeah. that uh, aren't worth it. I mean, it's funny that it's called melanotan because you don't have to tan; you can just take the drug. Well, that's not real. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, it is. <laughs> uh, scroll down. Where are we at? Uh... There, there we are. There, there. Miles Wilson for five. Sean Problem, Diet Coke, and Aspartame haters. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, that, that is yeah, that's good probably. One. I've heard you complain about aspartame haters before. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't, I don't stay up at night thinking about it. But <laughs> that's true. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Leo for five. Happy hundred kings. Thank you, Leo. Panic pun for five. Biggest problem right now are Disney adults. Yeah, true. Oh, mm. God, I know my ex girlfriend is a Disney adult. Ugh. My ex-girlfriend has just explained to me this insane scheme where you can buy Disney points to stay at the resorts. Like, if you stay at the resorts, you earn these points. But then there's an underground stock market of people, you know, bargaining off their points. Mm. And she goes, I just spent $50,000 on 2 million Disney points, <laughs> but then I can resell the Disney points. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God. Just Where's by the SEC? <laughs> it's a fucking unlicensed <laughs> It really is. It really is an unlicensed security. What the fuck? Well, I think she uh, she lowered her bid. I think she ended up oh not my God. buying as many. But she was literally like, I'm going to buy $50,000 of Disney points. This is a new religion for you. Yeah, it's a good mm -hmm. one. David Gomez for two. Hearing Zerka's name gives me PTSD. I understand. <laughs> Bad chorus for yeah. $9.99. Biggest problem in the universe is Vito not weighing in yet. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. The pizzas are coming. Wet band. <laughs> the pizzas are coming. <laughs> Wet band for two. You will consume the truant, Vito. I have and I will. Kara Fro for five. Biggest problem is creator Kia Senat creating a giant ride in NYC. I don't know if you saw that footage. No. Oh, today. yeah. I, I did uh, kind of see it. Uh, some uh, youth in New York stampeding through the streets. Oh. Uh, McKendee's for 10. Happy 100 boys. Best podcast in the universe. Smooches for Thank Sean. Thank you. Utah based Armenian for two. Literal biggest problem. Lizzo. Steve for two. No, biggest problem. I support Lizzo now. Yeah. If you don't support Lizzo, Why? then because uh, she, she she's getting accused of, me of getting me too. <laughs> I, you know what? I actually like Lizzo. She's getting I, me too'd? Yeah, she's getting me too'd by a less fatter woman. A, f a fat oh. woman almost got as fat as her, so Lizzo had to, like, out-fat her. Yeah. Her backup then, dancers are saying she forced them to go to the strip club and touch God. performers yeah, right. or something. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? And they, she body-shamed them. Oh, yeah. I think Lizzo's doing a bit, because I saw her play that flute well. And her music is great. Yeah. So I think the whole fat thing. I think she's thing, an actual musician for sure. Yeah. It's like Lady Gaga. She used to be really just a normal, boring girl. And she realized if you dress well, up like a freak and do freaky shit, you make way more money in the music it's, industry. Yeah, but I, it's showbiz. Yeah. I don't like any of her music, though. I don't know any of her and music. And she's a shitty actress. Eh. Okay. She's going to be in that Joker movie. I, I know. That is the Everybody's pissed. It's just awful. Because well, the Joker movie is so good. Why would you? 
make why a Lady Gaga sequel. <laughs> why did you guys could have just given us the one thing that we liked? You didn't yeah. have to ruin it. Steve for two. Biggest problem is OnlyFans simp losers. Mm. Dickington Post for five. Coming soon at the URL. Petto community for all your petto community needs. Congrats on 100 episodes. Did you register a URL? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Mo Diggity for five. Pull up and shave. Arnita Sarkeesian. Oh, my God. Oh, gods for five. When the SJWs came after gamers, the gamers retaliated by putting a cartoon character in the White House. Yeah, that went well. Dumb username for 10. Video games were the last form of media where you could have hot girls wandering around being nice without it being porn. It was a way to escape all this culture war crap. Mm. crap. Uh, hashtag RIP Tifa's breasts. Mm. Yeah, you got to keep the sexy women in video games. JLo for five. Challenge for Sean and Dax. Say some positive words you about Maddox. change that on the fucking fly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> You know he's just going to read whatever's in front of him. Yeah, Go fuck, fuck yourself, yourself, San Diego. <laughs> hey, everybody. It's uh, uh, Maddox came up with a good problem for episode 100. Yeah. What was it? Asteroids. Asteroids. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. It was funny. I don't know. I thought... Uh, there were times where I thought the guy was actually pretty funny. Yeah. Like he could he could he could construct a joke when he you yeah. know it wasn't always it wasn't always in writing. I mean there was it, that uh, going back to the. The kids, there's something there. He had something that people wanted. I thought he was mm -hmm. funny. Mm -hmm. I thought he was funny. And then His fake stories were great. Yeah. <laughs> then he just, just he just got you know, a lot of work into him. He's got, you know, I, 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 he's got fucking problems. I think that video where he did cognitive tests for kids, pretty good. <laughs> You were so excited about that I shit. I want him to make more videos. I'm sad no. that he tried to be a banana, failed at it, and now he's just yeah. nothing. Mm. There's you know nothing what, though? left. He was great as a banana. I know. <laughs> it's just It was better than Twitch. nothing. It's yeah. not. Yeah. It's for TikTok. I you told, were right. I tried to tell uh, someone to go into his chat, because I'm banned from all his chats for some reason, and I said, <laughs> tell him to Can't make- Can't imagine why. Tell <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I know why, okay? <laughs> but I said, tell him to make these into TikToks. Uh -huh. Make stupid videos as a banana. Yeah. Upload them to TikTok, and it might catch on there. Yeah. And then he didn't fucking You'd, do it. You know how many people have tried to make him make money? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. I don't know. What do you yeah. do? James Garner. You and, you and Rucka come to mind, <laughs> yeah. frankly. He made some money. By accident. By accident. Yeah, he definitely met him. I mean, he made the least amount he possibly could. Yeah. Oh, based on the number of people who me. like stuff, yeah. you know. I have a big announcement for the show. Uh, I am starting my own podcasting network. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Speaking of all the big money we're about to make, James Garner for 1999. Best show that's one of the only things that's not a problem in any universe. Fuck anyone that can't take a joke. Take the warehouse. Take the warehouse. Take my warehouse, please. For five, if you're going to offer one million to be proven wrong, you have TBF. Sure, ah, you are right. Damn it. Uh, hit Let's me with see a how refresh. my poll is doing. Has, has oh, God. Yellow Flash denied that he is a pedo? Just click on it and it'll expand. Uh, end poll. No. Oh, okay. Where did it go? Well, you ended it. It doesn't show you? Well, it was 84% it was no. It 84% no. Okay, well, he's not. Oh, there kidding. it is. There it is. 194 votes. Yes, denied. Denied that he's a, a pet owner. 84% uh, says no, so. So he should deny it. Wait, well, do the 15% know that he has uh, denied it? I guess. Oh, okay. I don't know. Well, well what are you going to do? Uh, okay, where is. We'll where blast is through these. You're going to have to go down a while. Jesus. It's the 100th episode. Yeah. Uh, you guys got to oh, find a way is. to combine your super chats. Go up past J Lo. James Garner for five. Vito killed it on t Nick last night. TBF, I mean, Rakeda, not Fuentes. Mm -hmm. Michael winning for five. Free money. Claptrap to destroyer. Eat yogurt for five. Dumb username for 10. Sean got the reference. Here's 10 Australian Long time dollars. ago. Yeah. Shit. It took you a while to get that one in Thank there. Thank you. He put his money where his mouth was. Shred 2010 for five. Happy 100th episode. Love the show. Keep it going. We will. Matt White for 10. Guest request Justin Wang. Pineapple Man for five. Happy 100. Shout out to Bag of Schmidt and also my parents watching. <laughs> oh. Glad to see Sean on the show, too. Congrats, fellas. 
Glenn J for 10. Thank you. Koof for two. Edit. Best podcast in the universe. Thank you for not killing yourselves. Drunken Atheist Studio for five. Happy 100 dudes. Gang, 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 gang. Ooh, ice cream so good. Ooh, ice cream, ice cream so, so good. good. Gang, 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 gang. Uh, can gang. I get a drum roll, Dick? And this is coming from the heart. Elliot Coward, $100 to be fair. I get it. I suck, Cox. Hey, you yeah. got it. You got it. 100 bucks for that. That yeah, was wow. worth it. We had to do it at some point, and Elliot made it happen for all you people. Thank you, Elliot. Thanks, Elliot. The Monkey Bros for 10 called a prayer idea. Southern Baptist Halo Preaching. Got to get those gamers in there. Jay Thompson for five. Going through old episodes at episode seven. What happened to the Sean? I feel like he doesn't exist. And what did you do to the guy from the first two episodes? Oh, what a strange John, episode. I think he's talking about Johnny, uh, the audio engineer. Wait, was he talking about? The, he's talking about the old show, right? No. Going well, through old episodes at episode seven. Or old episodes of this run of the show. I don't know. Well, well, he's talking. He's asking because no. the first two episodes we had Johnny, the audio engineer, right? Oh, did you? He was. Maybe he was. I don't know. I forget. Yeah, it was me, you, and then who was? It was Johnny, right? That's Maybe his name. It was. well, it wasn't yeah. me. So yeah. Yeah, on this I just show. Don't remember? Yeah, the yeah. first because it was your show, Dick Show. Yeah, for three. You brought me in. And you brought him in. Yeah. And then he died. He did die. Yeah. Mm. He died. We killed him again. Yeah. No, he was just too busy to do the show. We offered to let him do the show, but he was just too busy. R.I.P. Well, they, they uh, fucking <laughs> the studio fixed that. Yeah. Jimbo for yeah, 20. Big fat 20 for my gay internet dads. We're a fucked up family, but we're all we've got. How true is that? <laughs> World round Geohound for five. Love you, dorks. This is the best live show on Vito or on YouTube, hands down. My crazy MAGA sister asked me, who's this awful dick guy without ever mentioning you? She wants to get fucked. That's what she's right in. Who's this asshole? Who's this guy? I fucking <laughs> hate him. I hate hearing his voice. Where does he live? Everybody loves dick. Darius Ryan Covius for five. Eric's probably going to rent an airplane hangar once his spinoffs come out. Might as well. Joe Cool. Yaira. <laughs> Yaira. 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 Everyone's fucking blowing Everyone's their cum out of their dicks character. thinking about reading Yaira. Who crashed oh. into Isom in the air and they had a disagreement and okay, then she that's, flew away. How right. much can I that's pay for this fucking comic? 45 yeah. 55 $100? Oh, yeah. Sean's read Isom. That, have, that yeah. blonde lady yeah. crashed into, uh, into Isom. I was just confused. Like why people were just kind of coming in and out of yeah. the... Well, doesn't it make sense that yeah. based on your confusion, there should be an entire spinoff comic series to explain the one blonde lady? If, if it clears that up, then I'm fine with Let's it. Let's do it. It's a prequel, <laughs> actually. Go to the forklift auction. <laughs> 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 Joe Cool for five. If Vito loses the hair lo weight loss contest, he should have to grow his hair out for six months. Oh, you're not going to want to see that. Mm. You got to pirate the fuck out of Yaira, too. No. Don't throw the pirating ins no, at no. Isom. You pirate all no. the Ripper Burrs. Pirate every fucking thing in the. You're moving from two to three. If you can levels. copy a poster, do it illegally. Copy what? Do what feels right, people. Entertainment for five. If you want to know about Mela Notan, Google Nuka Zeus. No. Utah based Armenian for five. Melanotan side effects include reduced test scores, lack of buoyancy, <laughs> heightened sensitivity to disrespect, <laughs> and sudden inability to breathe. Oh my Jesus God. Christ. Shave and breathe. Oh my God. Oh my God. To yeah. breathe. Derpa five for ten. Mella. That's a well constructed that, joke. That's a very well constructed that's, I, joke. You got to give it up. I mean, those are some good side effects. Uh, Derpa5 for 10 says, Mel are no tan, Vito, and it's real. I've taken it, been around ages as a pasty white guy. Being able to pass out on the beach drunk in the holiday sun and wake up being better looking is a superpower. It doesn't work. <laughs> Apparently it's it not, does. No, I mean, it doesn't. I trust it's... nuclear physicist Dr. <laughs> Kevin P. Hickerson <laughs> Hello? more than I trust. That shit that you're taking is not doing what you think it's doing. You're just passing out drunk on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> You're just trying to take uh, you who can naturally tan because your people have resistance to the sun. Mm. Okay, we have a struggle, the white man. And you need to respect Buying scams that and bullshit. Yeah, we yeah. Are, well, we're idiots. I know, everyone what fucking hates do? me because my response to everything is, well, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Furious TV for five. Smash the like button for Dick and Vito finally providing us with the divine humor justice we needed to see over those fake indie comic scammers. Scammers. Gentleman Sausage mm. says, Vito, don't dead name people. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what do you That's when you use the uh, trans person's 
former oh, name. Oh, oh, oh. And it uh, drives we, them into an insane suicidal rage when you Why? Because you, you called him another name? Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Jack Rockstar for 1999. I'm glad that after 100 episodes, the biggest problem remains yellow dry erase markers. Mm. And David Gomez for $2. The shaving Eric July bit is hilarious. We got to weigh in, Dick. All right, Sean, do you want to proctor this exam? Or Vito, do you, Vito, why don't you video it? Who knows? Who knows what the amounts are? In ch in chat, tell me the amounts that. Tell me the what Vito started at, and what he has to hit. I think you started at what three ten point four. I thought it was three eleven or something. Well, that's not how. <laughs> He's got to squeeze some of that piss yeah, out of yeah, there. Yeah. He took his shoes off too this time. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, I, you you probably should. <gasps> Three ten point eight. No, I I have it on my phone. Hold on, hold on. Up oh, here comes a dog. Oh, hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Come here. Uh, it Come was here. three eight hundred pounds. It wasn't eight hundred pounds. Let me tr see if I can find my video library. All photos. Hi, Maddie. <laughs> uh, shared videos. Here we go. Nobody remembers. It wasn't 311. <laughs> it had a point. It had yeah, a decimal. Do, does that say kilograms? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dog's oh. pretty bad, too. Uh, the metric system can be funny. Uh, is this the... No. Let's see here. Um, he took off his underwear, too. Oh, I can... I can Hold on, I can move it. I can, I can come over there and proctor. Maddie's gonna put a paw on it. Maddie, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, I'm taking the video now. Maddie, go away. Maddie, Maddie come here. Maddie. Oh. Did it go up? Did nothing happen? Look at that. Three oh nine point eight. Oh. <laughs> Vito. That's not good. <laughs> what? You were lower before? I, don't I thought know. it was. You're not even fucking close. 309.8 and you took all your clothes off? Is it 309.8 again? No, 308.6. <laughs> okay, do one more. I'll give you one more. Maddie, move. Maddie, get out of here. Okay, he's... <laughs> what is it? 308.6. You started at 311! Well, it's not going very well. No. What is the Ozempic for then? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, Ozempic, is that the uh it's you inject yourself with this miracle weight loss drug. Is that what Chris the impossible. Kiwi's doing? No, he's on testosterone. No, I thought he was on something else though too. Wasn't he oh, talking yeah, about? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Ozempic? You're right. He is, and he love, lost I, a ton of weight. I love, I love how like no fucking vaccines, no fucking nothing. Like he's just, yeah, I'll just so uh, apparently sure. I gained a pound. I thought I was doing really good. <laughs> how did you do this? Uh, I don't know. I uh, well, I mean that's good. To, it's good information to know. You better yeah. just drink that olive oil and call it a night. <laughs> you better not go home and. You know, I thought you were gonna nail it. I well, uh, let's, I have to remix the Ozempic, so I, I didn't take it for like the last like week or two. Okay, but how's your eating been compared to normal or drink it's drinking like normal? Dew. You know what I think the problem has been is that I've been drinking a lot of my calories because it's been so hot. Okay. But I just bought a bunch of water bottles. I was drinking like a bunch of lemonade and shit. Oh, yeah, man. that'll. Yeah, Why don't you get Crystal Light? Well, maybe I'll try the crystal light. You gotta get, man. Why don't you try the crystal meth? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do something drastic. Get and, some results. And dangerous at this point. Well, because I'm supposed strikes. to be down to, now I gotta lose what? Like, uh, like 12 pounds. Uh, okay, mo wait, move it around. Put that scale in my bedroom and do it again. Okay. I'm getting notes from, uh. Uh, I'm getting notes that something is weird with the scale on different floors, but that's the same thing. We that's the same one we used last time. It's the, the same, same scale in the same place. Same spot. I yeah, mean, do it, it on the wood floor in my bedroom just to make I sure. Mean, I can't. It should be I, consistent. At I least. can't. I can't. Those digital this. scales are weird when they, you know, where you put your feet sometimes. This is horrible, Sean. This is the worst yeah, thing that's ever. Especially because when you're when you're three bills, you'd think of you know dropping, you know, ten, twelve, thirty. <laughs> 
Oh, oh it no, went it went up. It went up on a different... Mm. Well, I... Oh, I'm at a loss. Yeah. Yeah. Well, somebody's gotta be. <laughs> Vito. Well, Vito, I isn't think, there... I think... <laughs> I've learned it, some lessons, you know. <laughs> so I got a, I got a plan. This is there something you can do? I got a plan this? moving forward. <laughs> that uh, what do you have to? What? Where do you have to get to? He's got to lose thirty pounds in six months. How many more months is? And he started it. He started at three ten point three ten point four. Oh. I thought it was three eleven. Okay. 311.4? I don't remember. Maybe. And then the last. And then the last time you lost only by. A pound. Yeah. So I thought it was 306.4 last time. I guess. I don't know how I gained it. So you it. were supposed to be 301 even yeah, this time. That would have been cool. Or 300.9. That would have been great. I really fucked that up. Is this the heaviest you've ever been? Yes. So, well, uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to keep it up. I got the exercise bike going. I've been exercising every day. Okay. okay good. And uh, I think I got to drink more water. Yes. I think that's what it's going to come down to. Yep. Yeah, you got to get rid of those liquids. Yeah. No, I'm going to keep the house stocked with bottles of water, keep them chilled. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, hey, at least we're at least we're getting stuff done. We're trying, right? Yeah. Okay, so totally that you're down. sucks that I've been, you know, taking that drug and throwing <laughs> up all the time and it doesn't really <laughs> amount to anything. But... Oh well. Well, people put on weight during summer sometimes. Maybe it's, it's a, a summer season thing. for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's that classic summer weight. <laughs> summer weight, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for listening, everyone. <laughs> if you want to I feel like I really fucked up this bit. <laughs> I feel like the bit is just depressing now. Oh, that was a- it's like, oh, this would be fun and encouraging. Now, well, you know what? No, I've, I've also been lifting a little bit, so maybe I put on some muscle. Oh, well, what have you been lifting? I've been doing, you know. <laughs> Lemonade. <laughs> I don't know. I've been doing uh, 20, 30 curls a day. Curls? Okay. Yeah, doing behind the back. Uh, behind the back? The lift tricep extensions. Yeah, tricep, tricep extensions. extensions. What about some legs? Just what I can do with the dumbbells. Now, I got to get, get a gym membership so I can do the legs. What about just squats? And you're just with no weights. It's hard for a fat guy to do squats. That's true. Yeah. What about walking around? No, oh, I'll, I mean, we talked about the walking. I got to get the insides. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Else. But I'll get, a, right. I'll get a gym membership. Maybe I put on, maybe I put on some uh, little muscle. It's all muscle, really. You got four months to yeah. lose. I mean, now you're now you well, got to go for strike, broke. The whole strike system is stupid. Okay, you got a place to hang a heavy bag. <laughs> Maybe we'll just get rid of the strikes. I just think I gotta. I just gotta about the heavy bag. Get in a That's, rhythm. I swear to God, uh, you'll yeah. fucking just hit the heavy bag. Yep. So you want to not have strikes, yep. and then you're gonna lose fifty pounds or twenty pounds in two months at the end? Yeah. Uh, all right. You got a long way to go here, buddy. You're going to have to start. 20 pounds in two months? I can do it. No, you got to lose. Now well, it you... can be done. We don't know if you can do it. No, I can do it. You got to talk to some uh, skinny girls and yeah. figure out what they're doing. <laughs> Just I... Stick your finger down your throat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think if I keep doing the... I keep. I think if I keep doing the cardio, I'm going to okay. eat fish. I got some salmon yesterday. That was good. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. I got to get back on the fish diet. <laughs> Cannot fillet a fish. The goal was, I think it was 30 pounds, so it was 280.4. Yeah. Or maybe 281. I don't know what it was. Well, even if it takes me a little longer to get there, I think I'm on my way. You got to lose 28 pounds in four months. All right. That's 6.5 pounds I could do a that. month. I can do that. All right. I think now that I got everything set up... There was a lot of stress at first. I was I was dealing with a lot of comic book stuff, but now I have like some free time. Okay, I can take it more seriously. You got to do uh, ten push-ups for every tweet. Okay, so if you do a tweet, oh, you wow. got to do ten push-ups. Fair Knock enough. Get out like that. I think as long as we keep going, uh, eventually it's gonna happen. <laughs> okay. Okay. I still believe that it you can up, do this. It went up what? It, what? What were we at before? Three hundred six point four. That's the lowest. Went so up went two up. Pounds. Went up two pounds. Yeah. I mean, that's you know that can happen day to day. Yeah, it can fluctuate. Yeah. 
fuck. What did I eat today? <laughs> I ate two filet of fish today. <gasps> Is that hat like le- that lead many. shielded or? <laughs> yeah, do you have anything in that hat? I took the hat like off. Like a rabbit when or something? I, when I weighed it. Like a rabbit? I One think, of those Flemish giant guys, rabbits. That's, <laughs> of fish. that's a lot. Let's put it this way. No, it's not. It's like a thousand calories. Oh, okay. I think next month not that big, you're huh? going to be blown away. All right. We're going to cut so hard. Okay. Uh, Vito loses. I think this was just com. an off day. I think I'm just retaining water weight. I, okay. There, there could be a couple pounds could be a million reasons. Yes. You got 123 days and 11 hours, 23 minutes and 35 seconds to lose 26 pounds. I think it's going it to happen. All right. I, honestly, you know what I'm doing right now? 620 bucks on the line. I'm rope doping the audience. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to start pouring the donations in right. going, he can't possibly, <laughs> can't possibly lose, it. lose it. And at the last minute. <sighs> Remind me so much of Ali. <laughs> <laughs> they leave messages on here. This guy gave 100 bucks. These guys bucks. are funny. Hey, Vito, hold on to this uh, for me. I need it back in six months. Well, guys, uh, right now there's no better time to put to put some uh, dollars on the ponies. <laughs> yeah, you can't lose at this point. <laughs> so go to Vito Loses dot what is it dot com. Why do I feel like this is going to be a yearly? Why bit? don't you work in a, a heavy bag like Sean says? Where am I going to hang a heavy bag? Well, I don't know if you have a house or an apartment an or a place you can. I don't really have a doorway for it. Just find a f- go to a bus stop well, and find a fat lady. Right. Start hitting her. And by the time she turns around, your workout will be over. I'm going to pick up the amount of a uh, car. I've been doing 30 minutes of cardio a day. I'll, I'll step it up to an hour. Well, you know. Uh, well, the lifting, lifting is a good idea, too. Get rid of one lemonade. Yeah. Every no, day. I've been Stump that out. I've been drinking too many. I get like, I get, I've been getting, I think because I went off the Ozempic because I have to mix it again and it's mm-hmm. complex. I think that gave me like a bunch of cravings for like fucking lemonade and bullshit. Mm. And I probably put a bunch of weight on because of that. You go to Home Depot. Next time you got to do the Ozempic, go to Home Depot, pick up one of those guys, bring him back, have him do it. Have then him you have to worry mix about it, it up for yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> just like concrete, quick creep. I just have out. to find, I have like a bunch of different like five, like bookmarks about how to mix it because I have like, Different peptide amounts and different amounts of water, and if I mix it wrong, it'll kill me. It sounds so <laughs> so bogus. Whatever so, you're yeah. fucking doing, yeah. <laughs> this sounds worse than Keffel's. It's gonna be uh, great. Uh, real quick, do you want to check if there's any last minute super chats? Yeah, and, there are. Uh, Sean, you got anything to plug? No. Of course. Thanks, thanks for having me. Congratulations thanks on for 100. Coming by, thanks man. For coming it was fun. Appreciate it. Sorry that Vito disappointed you with uh, that. No. Well, no, thanks yeah. for all the comments. I fun. think I think you guys will do it again. Surprised next week. Uh, I'll go up and right there. Uh, imagine Alex for ten. Umbrella guy, yellow flash, allegedly saved comics from the big two, offering delicious private conversations to artists PDF with their underage daughters Ooh. at a time. Wow! I got a little inside baseball about that umbrella guy's comic. Wait, hmm. Really? Oh, I can't spell it yet. But let's just say. This man is not the savior of indie comics, which he claims he is. Oh, he's doing a comic, too? Oh, he's already done comics. Oh. Supposedly. What do you mean? Uh, He bills himself as, like, a comic guy? uh, Wasn't he pretending to be a therapist, too, when he was talking about... I think he's another guy. They get so angry whenever... Who's this? It's some of these fucking... It's another YouTube guy. Guys. Let's just say... They hear little kids laughing. They start frothing at the mouth that there might be an imaginary pedophile uh, lurking yeah. around. I can't spill the beans, but I will say. Mm-hmm. Give us a little taste. What happened? Some of these guys are claiming, oh, I'm a great comic writer. I'm a great comic artist. Yeah. It might be stretching the truth. Let's just oh, put it that wow. way. Oh, all right. That's all I got for okay. you. Okay. Two for two. Thank you for the DBF. Derp of five for five, Melanotan works. I'll send the photos. Vote up drug dummies. Darius Ranakovas for five. No one could have predicted that bootleg Chinese medicine wouldn't work. It's not from China. <laughs> Shut up. The City Boy for five. I don't know what's more disturbing. Vito getting emotional in his bar review or Eric July's arm hair looking like a congregation of spiders. <laughs> Joe Cool for two. On track for Vito to grow the hair out. <sighs> Derp of five for five. Muscle weighs twice as much as fat per volume. Keep it up, Vito. <laughs> No, G- that's the same tan guy. That guy doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I think he huh? might. And Jimbo for five, TBF to Vito. Never mind. I've Muscle got also consumes fat. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, I think, yeah. 
I think I'm in a transitory period with my body. You know, right now my body's figuring out what it wants to do with all this fat that's stored up. Well, okay. look, it does take your metabolism doesn't catch up immediately. Exactly. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Not as soon as you start exercising, it doesn't really work that way, but it does. It does. It happens pretty quick, but all right. I mean, you see the numbers. I have faith. Gotta get these numbers down. I have faith. Wait, how many more months we got? T- four. <clears throat> I'm going to knock it out of the park. <sighs> okay. Totally, totally attainable. I drastic measures. Drastic. I think I can take drastic measures. measures. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what you can get in the mail. <laughs> I'll starve myself. I'll do it. Okay. I think I can. Ralph do is it. losing weight. Have you seen him? I know he's been doing real good. Shedding it off. What's, really? his, what's he been pounds doing? Well, not not drinking, not drinking and stuff. Well, yeah. yeah, that'll. Yeah. And and eating all the shit food that you eat at like one a.m. Yeah, when you're drunk. yeah. Going on walks every day. So yeah. yeah, that's what he's doing. I gotta get. I gotta stop drinking my calories. That's the he's outrunning lawsuits. <laughs> he's <I> w- outrunning. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, this has been the hundredth episode, guys. <laughs> what a great show! Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, can we get the list of our supporters, which I did not update because uh, uh, I'm lazy? Uh, I'll update the next show, guys. Thanks for supporting the show at Patreon.com/slash/BiggestProblem. Don't forget back down by slash biggest problem. You can also support the show. Vote on all the problems at biggestproblem.show. Oh. And soon we will pick a venue for the big 108th live show. Oh, yeah. And when we announce that, you will be able to buy tickets and join us in L.A. for a night of Under the Stars. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you.